gets he has a he has hype over Johnny Depp's big big win. Big win. I know. I know how much you guys were following the Amber Heard Johnny Depp case. I know how much you were sitting there on the edge of your seat. You were posting all the like Johnny Depp's so fucking awesome memes. You know. Oh oh oh! Cave a goblin. Goblin uses enchanted hex (laughs) to fool Amber Heard. Yeah. I I said I said that to my dad that I don't follow it except I saw one meme that was (laughs) Goblin uses enchanted riddle and he laughed and that's it. That's all I have to say about the Amber Heard case. I just That's laughed yeah, at the, the, the fucking goblin enchanted rebel, riddle meme. I just laughed at Amber Heard's Doctor Doctor Evil outfit. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. I don't like. I yeah, but like ultimately, I don't. Ultimately, I, 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 DC, I don't care. <laughs> no, there's a huge W. There's a no, huge a W. Huge... Johnny Depp's the coolest guy on earth, guys. No, guys, it's a, like... no, it's a huge L for women. Didn't you hear? Yeah, it's yeah. a huge W for men. Nah, it probably is good for, like, like male victims of abuse, I guess, because it is historically a field where, like, typically, you know... Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's not taken as seriously. It's a big W for feminism. I, like, I, I just, like... Not even a joke. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. yeah. People forget that feminism also covers male issues. Feminism goes both ways, bitch. Lick my nuts. Yeah, fuck you. Steve no. is talking. Yeah, fuck yeah, it. dude. I'm a feminism feminist. goes both ways. Like yeah, my man, car, right? I, 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 <laughs> yeah, like my car over yeah. your nuts. He seems he, like he, he would be. If he went up on like the crane that and protest like animal rights and shit. So, uh, that was a fucking. I want to talk about that. That was a sick fucking time period being went on the fucking crane. <laughs> no, I loved him like walking out of the fucking jail, like police <laughs> office, just like yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, man. Yeah, well, fuck. That's sorry for anyone, anyone who, uh, anyone who wonders if I say stupid shit. I, I currently have a head cold, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that, the quick every time that like Connor you currently should be have counsel. um have HIV, right? You said you got that. Yeah, Connor has uh has monkeypox. <laughs> you and, see, this uh, is what happens when I say I'm ill. They just say this shit. No, you, I'm you fucking got, funny. You got, you got snake AIDS, fake friends, right? Fake names. Yeah, you got you got like you got fucking like uh Connor will gin- gingivitis or some bullshit. Yeah. So it's it only affects your bloodline and um <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is what happens when I when I open up. To nah, people. you got you got them. You got them, was you, right. you got them New Zealand AIDS, you know. Yeah, and AIDS they only got the NZ. I earn two thousand dollars working in New Zealand. Them, you fucking uh, trash me. Them ozone layer AIDS. Yo, Joe, what the hell are you doing here, pansy? We're gonna break your legs, Joe. It's for your own good. Uh, hey guys, welcome to the Robo Cafe podcast. Uh, I'm B- Bungo. I'm St- I'm Steve, also known as Goat Star FM or Max. Hi, I'm I'm Techni. I'm the Kiwi of the group, as you can tell by my accent, which is very Kiwi. You, uh, you, you, you said you uh you played uh, Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story Four, right? <laughs> They think it's funny. Yeah, he did. It's like they, they think it's funny that they constantly try and, you know, fucking gaslight me, fucking demean me, and they're right. That's it. That's all well, I it was awesome, because I, I played both people on, on Toy Story 4, so that's why you know, it, was, it was sick. I played the, the fucking... Was it the little, a, the little alien creature in in, in, in oh, yeah? I, I played I played alien creatures. I played it's Wheezy. They pronounce it them there because there's two of them. It's, it's, it's like a bunch of them, technically. I mean, they're like I a know, whole I, hive mind, right? Yeah, there's three of them that Andy owns, but you know, in canon, yeah, there's shit he, tons he, of them. He he, uh, he uh, went to college campus and fucking owns some aliens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Andy from Toy Story fucking owns alien creatures. <laughs> 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 Ben's big comeback. <laughs> Little did we know that the the Andy, Andy from Toy Story would grow up to be the only, the one and only Ben Shapiro. <laughs> we truly live in the fucking darkest timeline. Yeah. Ugh.
He has, oh, um, sorry. fuck, my Twitter timeline has just been full of gay people recently. Yeah. I wonder why. Is there some sort of thing going on? Like, I don't, you know. Uh, I think it's like... I don't keep up with them, quote, when they gay shit. Moment, month, or whatever. Yeah, I, yeah, I've actually decided I'm going to be straight this month. Uh, That's it. Like, I, as official announcement, Robo Cafe for, for the entire month of June will, will all be officially straight. So. Does this affect me? Do I wait? If you no, you girls... become gay, Connor. <laughs> no, I'm bi. So you become full does gay. Does that mean can I become asexual? Because that's directly opposite me. Nah, you become on the on the uh, on the uh, sexual uh, on the sexual political compass. Nah, you go like full zoo file mode. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just the it's a... it's just the way it is. I'm very sorry to say. Yeah, the com- the computer didn't know how to process you, so we it, just, it we sort just of malfunctioned and just was like, <laughs> d- d- dogs, dogs, cats, dogs. It's like, I want to fuck a dog. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know why the, the, big, se- the boy. big sexuality computer. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, sexual sorting hat for sexuality. <laughs> Yeah, like Doctor Doom sexuality uh, and Hmm. Likes <laughs> cock, but doesn't like men. Like <laughs> muscle. I pronounce you bi, leading into into women. Bi. I For some you reason, uh, Max uh, put the sexuality devices uh, voice as Steve. Yeah. Not sure. Hey, dude. Fuck, man. I mean, yeah, let me fact, tell you. Yeah. Let me tell you about when I. Was on. Holy, holy shit, you're a fucking poly man. Holy fuck. That's a callback to trans Stevo. Yeah. Fucking any 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 chip dip stream watches in the comments. <laughs> One right here, babe. Um, you don't count. You because you you. Yeah, I mean that's what they said about the crime statistics. You're on I'm the like, streams. Well, that's not fair. Like... <laughs> I don't take this survey just like everyone else. Well, in fact, just because 50% the percent of all hate crimes in this country are performed by Connor. Yeah. Con- Connor has committed 327 <laughs> cases of public indecency. Is that an outlier and should... He is an outlier and should not be counted. Connor, what if, what if, um... What if, like, next week, like, you, like... Like, you, like, Peter Dunn and he goes on to, like, fucking... Like, Sky News or something, just, like... So I think the biggest appointment, the biggest uh, enemy to the Liberal Party currently right now is uh, Connor <laughs> Knight. It's a full red <laughs> of you Lizzie, leaving your house. Why would he include like, middle name? It's only, <laughs> and if he was going to, if he was going to include my middle name, why would he not include my full name? <laughs> Pete, I mean, it doesn't make sense. It is Peter Dunn. Hmm. It's fucking Peter Dunn's a supervillain. Peter Dunn is literally he fucking wishes he was a supervillain. He looks no, evil, he is though. not. He, he, shaves, Peter, he shaves his eyebrows off, fucking like. Peter Dutton is doubly all grown up. <laughs> that's for all you, uh, that's for, for all you Quidditch members in the audience. Yeah, all you, all you fucking. Yeah. All you Potter. people who have any hot heads out there. Yeah, all you Harry Potter fucking alliance members or whatever the fuck. The alliance, the alliance. For all you mentally uh, challenged people. We were talking about how I, I've watched, um,. I watched the fucking Fantastic Farts movie with my uh with my dad. And cousin, fantastic so. Farts. It's not even I don't good. care. It's it's, it's like... not even a good fucking like <laughs> Fantastic Beats and, and where to make them. Yeah, but um Yeah, it was like the fucking Dumbledore's um grand Dumb- fart or whatever what it was called. Dude, wait, know. what Dumbledore. if what if I what if I made like an FL like an FL studio tutorial series and called it Fantastic Beats and how to make them? That's that like, that'd be, be really a great, good. that'd be a great title. That'd be legit. sick. And you're like in a wizard outfit the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> a big wizard hat. What the, one of the, uh, one of the game developers I follow always dresses up in a wizard costume whenever he makes a post on Twitter. That's so sick. cool. That's sick. Yeah, follow Torbo but... Duke if you, uh, if you know him. I feel like wizards. If you see him. Yeah, but like, I watched it today. Um, it was, it was definitely like a movie. It was like two and a half hours like long, and I felt like I, after I, I I feel like I just like ingested nothing. It's like it's like listening to Demon Dice, you know. <laughs> it's like you just, no, no, it's also like you sit to there. It's like it's I, the you watch same it, like, thing, Connor. Like you what you the different you eras. There. I have emotional attachment to one, not the other. Snake That's Eyes the is from the the quote unquote good era. That song's dumb and shit. 
<laughs> oh, side note, we watched it. We were listening to like listening to Snake Eyes called, and the fucking yeah, and, thing, and and like Aiden. Aiden is above. just fucking viscerally like triggered by that song. <laughs> he's like, it, I don't, the way he described it was like it's like you're like listening to it, but you're not actually like it's like you're just hearing nothing. Like <laughs> like the, the something on those like I never heard anyone describe a song like that. It was just like. <laughs> I mean, you know, Jesus, Jesus, Japanese is though, so. <laughs> fucking. Not fucking fuck. It's so good. It's, what a fucking terrible line. I'm getting sidetracked. Like, what you would just. No, watch. no, this, this is. Fuck, fuck the topic. Fuck three times three is that we're going to talk about Demon Dice rant. <laughs> I don't hate Demon Dice enough to rant about her. I just think that song shit. I'm so fucking. I. I as someone who likes de- most of Demon Dice's stuff, I 100% agree. That song is dog shit. I just think she kind of has whack flow and should work on it. Yeah. It's like, it's like this, like, rap. I don't know. She, <laughs> she, yeah. just, she sounds too white, you know? <laughs> she, she, yeah. Not that she has yeah. to make herself sound black, but she has to make herself sound cool. She kind of sounds no, like, she... like, she kind of sounds like, like the nerd emoji, you know? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> you should draw that. Demon dies is the nerd emoji. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then tweet it at her. That'd be, I wouldn't want to do that. It'd be funny. Yeah, but it requires too much work. Probably yeah, get a yeah, bunch right. of fucking RTs and updoots and shit. Yeah, more Calliope, look at you this. Could, you could ratio more Calliope. Well, if I tweeted at more Calliope, it'd be ignored because she's sure. legally not meant to allowed to say that she's the same person. Yeah, if you say it in a... Yeah, say it in Demon Dice's chat, you get fucking banned. Mm. And vice versa. Uh, oh, fuck, shit, but I just mo- muted it. I was just gonna say about, um, Fantastic... Uh, fantastic uh, well, how, would I just mute myself? What the fuck? You, did, yes. you just did, yeah, I don't know why you did okay, that. Okay, I, I thought I'd been muted for a while, and I was like, what the fuck? No, okay. <laughs> no, you just muted yourself then. Okay, that's... Moron. Like... I, I, I don't fucking know, fuck you. <laughs> How did you even mute yourself accidentally? Control M, I have a fucking shortcut for muting myself, dickhead. And bind it. LOL! Man. LOL! Um, right, so, this, so, so this is modern day Robo Cafe, huh? Really gone down. Wow. Well, I, miss, I miss the FFP. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I used to wow. like you guys. Oh wait, fuck! Sorry, I know this this structure is all over the place. I know you're trying to talk about your fucking gay Harry Potter. Movie. Oh, we can skip this. We can skip this. Uh, one. But but real quick before I forget, um, the the podcast is now on like Spotify and shit. I completely oh. f- forgot. Oh, that was meant to be. Yeah, it's it, like the this podcast is now on uh, Spotify and Apple Podcasts and what like I think. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music slash Audible. It's the same thing. Yep. And, yeah, sure. and Google Podcasts. And I think I might want to put it on SoundCloud, but SoundCloud isn't an RSS feed. It's a different thing, and you only get a certain number of hours on a free thing. So I don't know. But it's at least on those. Yeah, give it. Give so us if, the, you, if you want to listen wanna, to it on the go. Yeah, give if you want to listen please. to it in, in your car. We're actually begging you. And not have to, you know, be pulled over for looking at your f- your phone screen, even though you could probably just turn the uh, and just not look at your phone screen if you're watching it on YouTube. You don't have to buy YouTube Premium to download the video. <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah, so cool. That's that's it. That's all. Sweet. I'll put Price, the links that in is the all. description for this this one and probably all the subsequent ones. But yeah. So right. the you want to- Cafe remastered. Let's make no, a... scratch that. When will we have Robo Cafe redrawn? No, I'm making Robo Cafe Legacy. Legacy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um. So, what, is there a, um. Yeah. You, do you want to talk about Fantastic Beasts? I, I feel can, like we're... I can talk about it. like it's like very yeah. Brief. Please, like, I like, want you to get this out of the way. Like the whole plot of the fucking movie. It's like I don't know. It's not really. I don't, really think anyone, I don't think anyone really cares about Fantastic Beasts. No, no, I don't. It's like, it's like they're like the main bad guy from the last film is like trying to become like El Presidente of the, like the, the wizard world. And he's going to like rig the election by like getting this like this, this, this animal that's like pure of heart and can, t- it can like, and like chooses who to vote by like, oh yeah, it will, it will only bow down to those of pure of heart. So he's going to like rig it. So he bows down to him. So it just, 
the whole film revolves around fucking like them just doing weird side shit, like just trying to fucking like do whatever and like just find out what he's actually doing. And but like do the crab dance, yeah. Like I feel, I feel like, I feel like this is a lot of like shit. The hashtag we've done the crab dance. Like yeah, yeah. Go, go has to... done the crab dance. So. He's done the crab <laughs> dance on the fucking put up momentarily, but. I feel like after for all like, your listeners, just... fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. That's <laughs> for for the people ass. listening to it on Spotify, fuck off. Burn you your side. <laughs> Go watch it on YouTube rage. again. <laughs> but um, <laughs> question our power. Yeah. But so like, I, d- um, I, I just fucking talk about beasts. I want to do the main meat of the podcast. Yeah, I fuck it. Like, okay, just like <laughs> long story short, it's like like a lot. Of, like it's like two and a half hours long, and like, you have all these flashy visuals, but you just like nothing. You feel like nothing happens. Like it just like it just like what does this contribute to? And it just like it's the most mid film ever. All right, end of story. Cool. So um, so so uh, let's actually get into the the gimmick we wanted to do for this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, free by free. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, I, I you know, you, you could say, oh, it's it's trash taste did it first with the three by three episode. Wow, talking you're about objectively three by three right, but fuck idea. off, it's not that interesting of a concept. Yeah, wow, wow, talk about three by three is what, wow, talking next? about anime. Some, we're gonna talk about Peyton talking about anime. That would be pretty swag if they did that. Yeah, fuck anime. On my homies tolerate anime yeah so you know just general general thing we're gonna show each other our things and then and then talk about why they're on there we'll <laughs> yeah it's gonna, it's gonna be a we'll, very we'll show each other our, 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 our cocks yeah connor yeah uh, <laughs> no i was thinking um my cock is there because god put it there uh okay uh who wants to go first now i realize because i don't want to put them all out at once because i feel like that ruins the you know it's, oh, i like yeah. i like I'll speculation all right, wait, All no, right. Connor. Before you go, mm-hmm. I want I want to guess what what like some that it's on yours. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Out of nine, each, each give your predictions. All right. Um. All right. Max, you go first. No, you go first. Okay. Well, I I don't know right. all of them, but because you're a hard one. Because I don't watch that's that what much. She said. Anime. Um. But. Uh. She did say that. <laughs> um. But like. <laughs> I was eating off earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, but because I, I was like, I'm j- I, I don't know what you like. I know like generally what you like, but I don't. It's like I don't know. I th- I'm going. Doesn't um, talk that much about anime. I'm going code gay ass. Uh, I'm going. Yeah. I'm going. Uh, uh, high school DXD. Yeah. 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 I'm going two, uh, two, uh, two, two for two. I'm going original Naruto. Okay. Uh. No, you wouldn't do Yu-Gi-Oh because I don't think it's. I don't think it's. I think it's too recent. I uh, mean, uh, you. I mean, each Yu-Gi-Oh series is separate. So. And I, uh, yeah, I, I would assume you'd do fucking Duel Monsters. It's the one you've done, right? Yeah, I'm in the middle of watching GX. Yeah. Uh, and then I don't know, maybe. What the fuck? Oh, like Log Horizon. There you go. That's that's the ones I'm betting on. All right. Okay, man. Um, all right. It's gonna be. Put, put, up, put up this list. All right. Um, I probably won't do that. I, I feel like, but like, all right. Infinite Stratos. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, High School DxD. Um, Chivalry of a Failed Night. Uh, Chivalry of a Failed Night. Yep. Fucking uh, classic, classic show. Aiden's um, favorite anime. Yep. Aiden's <laughs> favorite anime. <laughs> <laughs> but um. You know, you got fucking you got Angel Beats on there. Um with yeah. Death Note. Mm-hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh! Um and uh fucking like Yu-Gi-Oh! We got fucking uh you know, like love how much you love MHA mm-hmm. and uh original Naruto. I got, I got the sneakers. Yep, you got sneakers. you love Jujutsu Kaisen and you love I know you love this so much. You love school days. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Dude, what if he has Boku no Pico on his? Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> you chef. Okay, so <laughs> you, so funny, both, man. Of you, both of you only got one right. Oh, fucking! 
I can Inferno your... Cop. Inferno Cop. <laughs> Wait, so... What the fuck do you mean by that? Wait, say that again. It's Inferno Cop. There he is. Yeah, yeah. I, I also like to point out how uh, how the majority the majority is taken up by uh, Gynax or people who work at Gynax show. Yeah. So you want to say what they are for you know? All right. Yeah. So for the visually impaired. Yu Gi Oh Duel Monsters, the original series, Inferno Cop, best anime ever, uh, Kaiji Ultimate Survivor, Kill a Kill, Pantheon Stalking, Gurren Lagann, Steins Gate. The thing is, I. My favorite version of Steins Gate is the one that they made, which is the visual novel, but with the, all the anime videos. And even then, even if it's just talking about the anime, which I think is the slightly worse version, because it doesn't have all the alternate endings, I still think it's up there. Okay. Fully Cooly and uh, Mob Psycho, just in general. I didn't know you liked Fully uh, Cooly that much. Like, I knew yeah, you liked yeah, it. Yeah, Everyone yeah. Liked I, it, I, but... I was, at the yeah. end, I was really thinking hard about it. If, if I was to replace it with, uh, if I was to... I think I would change fully cool with Log Horizon. Mm. Mm. So if if you want to talk about the updated version, you know, that would be that. Yeah. So you know, so give, give you know you know you know you know uh, Connor, give us give us give us a give us give us a little give us give us a little backstory. You know, like why like why like why, why, why like why why did you, why did you choose these ones? You know, like what 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 stands okay. out about these? Okay, I'll talk about. Inferno Cop and Penny and Stocking are two of the fucking funniest shows I've ever seen. Mm. Inferno Cop mm. is consistently one of the funniest anime. Well, Penny and Stocking has fantastic animation where it wants to and just is really good experimental. Kill a Kill and Gurren Lagann uh, I think equally as good even if they do different stuff. I think Gurren Lagann is slightly better thematically while Kill a Kill is slightly better character wise but overall they're the same. I just think they're incredibly competently made shows that are really easy to watch. Like, I can sit down and watch all 12 episodes of uh, Kill a Kill or all the movies of Gurren Lagann. Stone's Gate is... Uh, it has the spot of... if it, it has the spot, whether it's anime or visual novel, which Stone's Gate Elite is the best one, because it just took all the animation from the anime and then put the visual novel over it. Plus, I mean, they animated some extra scenes for the bad ends that you don't see yeah, steins yeah. gate's a hood uh, classic yeah yeah steins gate uh had an amazing the second the second most amount of tears i've shared while uh, enjoying a work at 12 uh the highest being you counted yeah in the 12 fuck? years <laughs> I, I've, once cried, once it's I've cried 12 times i've cried I mean, it's because it's very easy to remember how many times you cried because it's a very strong emotional event. I don't remember how many times. Maybe I'm maybe I'm more susceptible to emotional anime, so I just I I, tear I mean, up twelve more is reason. a lot. That's like yeah. no, no, I just don't minute. count it. You know, <laughs> no, it's just just to me, it really stands out because emotions are really easy to remember. Uh, fully coolly, I guess I just put that on there because of obligation. I prefer Log <sighs> Horizon because that I really appreciate just. It's the fact that it's both a generic fantasy anime and also politics. How it can be both good and terrible at once. <laughs> yeah. And Mob Psycho is... It's Mob Psycho. That's yeah, Mob Psycho is fucking... Like, it's... Yeah. Mob Psycho... Mob Psycho is goaded. Mob Psycho was on my old one before I, other shows kind of overtook it, but it's still fucking brilliant. Yeah. So it's, it's that, just like it's like Mob Psycho. I can Psycho almost isn't... remember the entirety of the episode where Mob is trapped in his own mind. Oh, that, I, it's such a seminal, it's such a seminal episode. episode to me. Yeah, it's so that, fucking good. That's such a fantastic. Oh, it's just such a fantastic show. I'm so hyped. And Kaiji Ultimate Survivor is Squid if game. you knew if you actually knew me, you would know I talk <laughs> about the show a lot. Squid Game. I fucking <laughs> Squid Game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucking love its art style. I love how it looks. It looks so un it, it's so fucking angular. It's a really smart, thoughtful show that allows its characters to uh both succeed and fail. It has really great characters while also not being unrealistic, and it's just a really smart show. That's it. That's all. all right. mm. Wait. I think all like right, I've um... out of all of like I fucking I've seen like th only like the bottom three shows on this whole thing. 
You've not seen. I, I have. You've I've never seen. seen I've, I've, I've never I've, seen I've, all of Inferno Cop. I like. I know it's. You're a bastard. It's, you're a pedophile. You're not. Uh, yeah, I know. And then PSG. <laughs> I've won. I PSG. I've I've had sitting on my PC for probably about like. What? When the fuck did? Maybe like 2016 or something. I mean, PSG and I have is... never just bothered watching <laughs> it. <laughs> PSG is. Pr- oh, I've watched it. I've watched pierced you all the way through like seven times it's just so entertaining it's just the best the, it's the best out of all these shows it's the show that i can enjoy the most without thinking hard about it mm. and there's an entire like half of it is sex jokes and i fucking cut my little brains out to it so yeah, you know yeah so do you like is Yu Gi Oh really that good that it, it yeah has? I'm, I'm that's the fucking one i'm wondering about it's like is it that like <laughs> um you hear the original is weird because while most shonen anime, when they go on, like progressively get darker and darker with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's the opposite. As you, I would say half of Yu-Gi-Oh is incredibly competent, interesting shonen, while the other half is just kind of filler. I, I think I think Yu-Gi-Oh is uh, really good, but a lot of it is like there's like three whole arcs. People don't people don't talk about like uh return of the dragons the uh, the uh what the fuck is it called or a calico coast arc and i think that's symbolic about how fucking much it varies but Yu Gi Oh is just it is such a good show to just sit down for fucking ha- just sit down and watch and not have to think about anything mm-hmm. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's also like there's plenty of bits where it gets genuinely really fucking good as well like solid like nine out like because there's next to no movement all the time when the show wants to go out it can go out yeah so like if they made squid games the anime would you like consider putting it over kaiji i mean literally literally, literally, no but if they like if they made squid games the anime where it was like the squid games cast you know (laughs) i know i know i know and it's like oh my god live action show but if you you had if you if you had it anime of that would you would you watch it i i would watch it you jerk but kaiji ultimate survivor is a bit like squid games if you think about it <laughs> <laughs> not, the, the thing about that is not even a joke like <laughs> the fucking uh that's not even true they don't have fucking lois griffin noses so um <laughs> 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 oh yeah, yeah. check mate squid yeah. game they all have the, big uh, schnoz the the glass <laughs> the glass scene is taken from Kaiji. Like Kaiji is one of the main inspirations of Squid Game, anyway. So, mm. yes, yes, sure, sure, sure. it's I very good. I I need to read the manga, the mongoose. Can I say there's only two seasons adapted? Yeah. Can I say I think the only one that even has a chance of being on all ah, oh, no, on all three of ours is fully cooly, and even then, I don't it's think yeah, Max yeah, I, would. I, I don't know. I, I honestly, you say that. Reckon, I was on there. I, was on there. <laughs> I reckon. So I was gonna bring that up. I was like, it's like I think that's the only one that has a chance of being on all three, which is I think it's good. Steinsgate, I mean, we have different. I think Steins Gate has a chance of being on all three. Max hasn't seen Steins Gate. What? Seen, yeah, I haven't yet. I think if Max watched Steins Gate, he'd probably like it. But I, I, I honestly, I just haven't watched it. Ride. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen Steins Gate in it. years, so it is. All, yeah. It also isn't on mine because I haven't watched it in so long that I can't it's, really say it is or isn't. Like, like, like it's like, like, like I'm gonna say it's like, 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 and like I've only seen like two animes on his list, like which is bad. I've only seen like Kill Kill and it looked fully coolly, but like, See, I agree, uh, like hard agree with them being very good shows. We should we should say yeah, which one we Mark recommend. I haven't seen Mobsaw yet. Fu- it's yeah. like the easiest show to watch. It's it's just like half of it is I, just I, it's half of it is just pretty. Like you don't even need to think. It's just like I just yeah. holy like, shit, I haven't this got, show is gorgeous. It's just the, I know it's, it's like a good Gurnan. show. I just haven't gotten around to watching it's it. It's the best show in full yeah. stop. I've, I've like there's, there's to watch parts it. of Naruto. There's parts of other shonens that are better, but just consistently, Mob Psycho is just the best shonen. Yeah, I mean Naruto doesn't have Reagan or Dimple, so it's like you know. Holy, holy shit! They put, holy shit! They put Reagan in fucking art. <laughs> Just oh. real fucking Reagan in his suit and shit. <laughs> That'd be so cool. All right, um, all right, Max, yeah. you want to go next, or do you want to? I, I can, I can go next, honestly. Right. Um, this, this is gonna be a bit of a. This is like all like Max type beach. I can, so. I can 
feel I can get I can pro- I can, I think Max is easier to read. I think yeah, there's yeah. gonna be Lucky Star on there. There's gonna be mm-hmm. uh Nichijar. There's probably gonna be Wandering Sun on there. Wandering Sun's definitely on there. There's <laughs> yeah, there's Shroom. Uh we know there's gonna be fully Cooly on there. Fucking I don't uh, know. What, like, probably on there. Yeah, perhaps. Uh and and he'll be like, Oh fucking I watched it as a kid. Um uh <laughs> which is valid, which is funny. Uh <laughs> And then, fuck, I don't know, what else does Max like? Some gay shit? Fucking k I don't uh, know enough gay and tranny anime. It's not even... Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> not a sli- I, I mean, I... I all mean, the trans people I follow on Twitter, you know, that that's sort of their, uh, their time right, period, well, so... Well, like, okay, like, I'm putting... <laughs> you should okay, okay, like, whatever. You were mostly right. You were oh, yeah, I that. forgot Higurashi. Oh, how, could, how could I not yeah. put Higurashi? Okay. Yeah. I should have predicted Lane. I should have predicted Beast. Oh, yeah, actually, this is, this, this is easy as fuck folk. to read, actually. Lol. Yeah, legit. This is like, this, like, I said, this is Max These are all such shit. stereotype Max shows. <laughs> Well, it's like, like these are like all very intrinsic to like, okay. so you like my first before. All right, so my like my my, my anime's on here is Lucky Star Lane, um, uh, Monogato series, um, Higurashi, B Stars, Fully Cooly, um, K On, uh, Wandering Sun, and Evangelion. Um, mostly for like, like I feel like first one for Lucky Star on there. It's a uh, I had a bit of a toss up between like Lucky Star, Nijijo, and like Tomical Market, and I just chose Lucky Star because it was the first life slice of life anime, or uh, like it was the second anime I ever watched. Period. So you watched it as a kid. I know it. I, I know, <laughs> but like it's such a solid show for back then, and it, like it like I haven't seen it in years, but like it still holds up very fucking like well in my mind in like what happens in that. And like all the characters, this like uh Miyuki, like uh fucking Konata, like uh, like they're all like they're all like sort of like gimmick, like oh this is how you do like a fucking slice of life. And, it's, just, like, it's it's the fucking Seinfeld anime, right? Isn't that? It the- is. It legit is. <laughs> like- but like it's such a it's such an iconic show. And plus, it's like the uh the classic anime like anime co- like digi paint like shit like era shit. I love I. I also, just side note, I love fucking. You're going to probably hear this a lot. Like, I've, I've, like, I've loved DigiPaint shit ever, but. <laughs> Max moment, man. It's like stretched. <laughs> Why is it so stretched? Why is it, it looks like it's over another meme. Like, it's just like. Yeah, kind of loaded it up. Like, you just, he, it's like, fuck. Was over, he was working on another meme and then just like just stretched us over his fuck I'll put it in. This is so shit looking. That's awesome. But like <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> awesome. but, like Oh my god. Oh fucking like I like so good. It's so shit. That is like the like, yeah. It's I love so the fuck it, like, like even, the two different fonts and the fact that one that meme was that, was that meme anchor? dot yeah. like meme dot com down there. Fucking <laughs> well, he's Tumblr. Yeah, you the know it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. how can I? So how can I make the most shit meme possible? Max, I achieve my goal. <laughs> this needs to be the thumbnail. For audio <laughs> listeners, Connor just sent in a, a meme of, of Max's 3x3 compressed and stretched <laughs> vertically as fuck. It just says a Max moment. <laughs> top text, bottom text. And the top You're text is in, like, <laughs> aerial on the bottom text and fucking uh, it's not impact. Even, it's not even on center. It's, like, skewed. Yeah, he didn't want, he didn't want to block Lane's face, you know? <laughs> oh, it's so That's good. so dog shit. Uh, on my computer making that as the thumbnail. Oh my god. Connor in your little meme dungeon. Yeah, and this is like <laughs> epic meme dungeon. <laughs> making the frat and the dankest memes. <laughs> um but um but, uh, like that, I've peaked. Oh uh, fucking peaked. hell. I'm done. Alright. <sighs> Alright, Lane, uh for me it's like classic fem cell like shit, like very predictable <laughs> shit, but like it's actually like I describe it's like retarded for me to describe it as this, but it's like it is like the Mahalan drive of anime, and like I love it so much. You can there's like 
each you know, like so like banjo you. says it's like a snooze fest and like most part and it is but like you just a lot of like small and like cryptic shit you just like decode in each episode and that like episode nine is like my fucking favorite of the whole like series and that just, just go like, look at an arg no, I mean, like, rich marble hornets, dude. It's not that hard. No, but it's it, it's not as pretty as Lane. Yeah, but you don't get like a cool, cool fem cell like Lane. Lane million computers. Like Lane's a show that I wish I fucking loved because, like, I've I legit like fucking I've made stuff with it because of how I I I really 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 love the way it looks and like the general theme of it. Like fucking, I made my fucking stream waiting thing in like that ten minute fucking video I made. The overarching like source for it all is laying. Yeah, uh, because it's like it's it's a really pretty show and it's a really like legitimately interesting show. But like I don't the, know if it's because I have yeah. fucking horrible debilitating ADD or whatever. But f- it, I mean, it took me. It you know famously took me like over a year to finish <laughs> watching the. Sh- I finished watching it like last week. <laughs> And I started yeah. it maybe like June last year or some shit. <laughs> it was fucking so I was like, you know, even oh, when remember. I made that video, I only used I think up to like ep seven or nine or something because that's all I had watched. And I was like, no, I can't spoil myself. <laughs> oh, but it's like it's, it's like it's good. It's really good. And I like the last few episodes as well. It's like, oh, this is this is a fucking good show. But I can't, I can't in good faith be like, oh, I just I, I like because when I watch it, I'm just like look, I, I'm like fucking. I have to, like, I, I get lost in thought, and then I'm like, fuck, wait, I'm watching a thing, that's right, this is meant to be, yeah. like, this is meant to be important, all the trannies on uh, fucking Twitter will get off of me for if I don't. <laughs> like, I feel like this is such, like, it's such a, you do, like, like, with this show, you do stop and start, and like, to think for a minute about, like, all right, what the fuck just even happened last scene, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, it is like, it's like watching a David Lynch film where you just, like, you just fucking... You're decoding each scene, each character. Like, what's the, what's the overarching plot from all like the confusing bullshit that's yeah. happening? Like, it's like this very this this anime. It's like it's like it's like sort of like fully cool in a sense that it's like it just like doesn't really hold your hand a lot of like it, it just, like scenes don't really last very long, and like it does like not a whole lot of dialogue in the show as well, and like but the dialogue but, like, that is I, there is always just like fucking. Like we you, you are nothing. Yeah, yeah. The world is 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 but God's what, what? playthrough. It's, like it's, it's like the most fucking. <laughs> it's like definitions of like fake words and one. You're like, what the fuck is this? It's like then you'll just have like entire scenes of like going into the web and it's like but gurgles of text. It's like like something out <laughs> like LSD Dream Simulator. <laughs> this fucking brain and bullshit just coming out of you, just left, right, and center. And it's like what the what the fuck is even <laughs> happening, right? Yeah, it's- like. It's- <laughs> Like a perfect example is like episode nine because like half of it is like interspliced with this weird pseudo documentary and yeah, shit. I, I could not, I could not like listen. I could, I could, I was so trying my hardest to like understand what they were saying, but I was like, I couldn't, I can't be fucked. It's so hard to follow, but like it's like it's honestly that is my fucking favorite episode on that fucking show because just how fucking weird and like just like weirdly disconcerting it is and that and just talking about like i'm just like just a like i wouldn't spoil too much but like it just like it's like all this just grander plot shit happening it's just like what holy shit what the fuck is even happening yeah like the last like the last episodes especially were just like great like that shit crazy <laughs> it's just fuck it's a psycho fucking show it's just like it's, it's, it's like the the neat show yeah but like i fucking love it uh end of story like I think, like that would be my, honestly, like this is gonna be like the like the oh the oh the Feb show, argument, but like it's just like it is my probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite show, if not for like Higurashi, but like, <clears throat> but um, all right, Monogatari series, um, I watched this when I started, when I, and like it's one of my favorite fucking anime series ever, and it's just like like it's like there's like a lot of the show like is like it has all these like it's a very unique aesthetic and in terms of like use a lot of pastel colors and like transitions are always it's heavily based off like the original works it being like a light novel series and it does play a lot of bit with like like the transition between each scene will have will linger on like a word it's like or a sentence or like, like some of the characters said in that just very like just examining like sort of like these character motifs and that um you want to fuck also, that little girl, right? That's your. No, I don't want to fuck. That's I your. I want to fuck. I want to. 
I want to make sweet, uh, sweet uh, consensual love with the girl with huge tits and uh, <laughs> and glasses. But anyway, we'll talk about that. We'll talk that a bit. That's the, that's the uh, waifu three by three. <laughs> we'll do that next episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, like Monogatari examines like it's weird because it has a lot of like uh, it, it's. We because it's like it's like very it's like convoluted and like it's very like uh, contrary to like lane shit it's very dialogue heavy like massive yeah. they'll, they'll spend they spend like entire like three uh four minute scenes just like a conversation like a con- back and back conversation between two characters and that and it will probably linger on like a japanese pun and that which is like it's, it's like hard to translate. it's hard to translate honestly and but like, to speak japanese that's what i i watched a bit of monogatari and then I was like, "Yeah, I I cannot appreciate the subtitle." And then I stopped watching it. I, yeah, I like the, never tried, but would like to. It's hard as well because, like, the way the series is presented as well, it's like it's like non <laughs> like it's non it's non linear, and like each part is like broke. Like, each season is broken up from like different parts in the novel and that. Mm. So, like, if you're trying it's to watch this, if you're try, I tried doing this initially, and I just got completely burnt out. But if you're trying to watch the show chronologically, you're just not going to get it. Period. <clears throat> like, yeah, not everything needs to be uh, done in uh, chronological order, and that's fine. Yeah, like the. No, if show you set it up, and yeah, like if you set up something to not be viewed by that, then then don't try, you know. Yeah, I well, try. I learned that the hard way because there will be like scenes yeah. from like a, like how like showing like different characters having like reflecting on the past or whatever, and I'm just like, oh, who the fuck are the, even these characters? <laughs> like, and I really, I really fuck myself for that, but it's like. But yeah, it's generally aside from that, I come back like I come back to it, and it's it's always such a great series because it's like the characters are great. Like for one, like Honey Kala, I know she like people are gonna like if people find this and they're gonna like what the fuck she's literally the most bland character. Like shut the fuck up, you're wrong, because she's like she's been there from like the start of the show to the end, and it's like it's like they have a very she has like a very complex relationship with the protagonist. A lot of, all the fucking characters do, but like. <clears throat> Her specifically is very great. Oh no, it's a it's a good it's a good it's a good show. Mm. It's just very hard to get into. There's a lot of it. Um, Higurashi is self-explanatory. Um, just like digi paint show, digi paint horror, like you know, like edgy anime. Um, characters mm. are great. Yeah. Rika, Rika fucks infinitely. It's a, it's a show. It's this show with Keiichi Mayabara. I mean, yeah, fucking... like, I mean, like you look at his fucking. You look Keiichi at his man. <laughs> I not 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 go not go and sort. He's still Keiichi. cool they, in the reboot, but he's he's he's, he's most swag in the original. They fucked him. They fucked him up. They his, fucked up his drip, fucked... but his character remains the same. Yeah, I judge Is a man Keiichi on his... without the swag. I, I I would say I judge a man on his character over his drip. <laughs> yeah, that, but, like, that's how I. I judge no man off of his drip. Robo Cafe. <laughs> I'm gonna write a manifesto about this. <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah, Higurashi was my first anime. Um, I've watched this when I was like 11. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. My fucking And it God. fucking was. And it was. It, it is a genuinely... Like, I watched it. I rewatched it um, like that, when I was like like 13. And then I watched it again or, like last year and that when Banjo was getting into it. And- I watched... Uh- I watched the first four episodes of the original series and thought it was really cool, and then and it got to an ending, and I'm like, what? And then I gave up. Yeah, it, it, that it, was like a while ago. The first it's season is a little slow. Uh, oh yeah, the first season's a little slow. I got in. I yeah, I did good on it because I, I was it, forced to watch it. Yeah, I, I, I liked the first season. That wasn't a problem for me. It was more like the idea that like, wait, what? Well, the fir- it's, I it's was like, I, it's just yeah, like, it's just slow. Like it's it's a bit boring the first season. Yeah, I mean, it's more that I I know I'm a visual novel guy, so I'm okay, and I'm like, all right. Everyone says the VN is, 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 I think, better anyway. I think, yeah. like, it's not much better, but I think people do say, like, if if you have the, you know, if you can do VNs, then you may as well read it over, uh, watch it. But I can't like, fucking do VNs. The only one I want like, to I, do is Umi Neko, you know, because there's no a good anime for it. Like Umi Neko is gonna be hard, but because that's like 180 hours. It's a very long VN, but I, I maybe, maybe if, if the fucking alternate timeline where we do end up living together, that that would happen, and we'd yeah. read Umi Neko together. But that's I mean, that's fucking future pipeline. Whenever the fuck that'll happen. <laughs> that's my future pipe. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> no, seriously though, don't don't walk around with your cock out if we live together. That's really it's fucked uh, up. Very weird. Look, I know you love walking around naked, but I I'm not really into that. So this isn't even a meme. I just do. I just don't feel uncomfortable with my body. Yeah, well, I just I'm I feel uncomfortable with your body. So <laughs> yeah, I can't, handle, I can't handle my power level, dude. Yeah, clearly. <clears throat> All right. Um, Higurashi is is. I'll just say real quick. Higurashi is like I got into it. Yeah, like last year, because it was it was kind of like a fucking <clears throat> like a like a big joke between my siblings. Because whenever whenever me me and my siblings all watch anime, fucking you know weep household, <clears throat> and whoever like whenever someone would be like, oh fuck, like like if they ask my eldest brother Kaya, you know, because he, he's the oldest, he's been around for you know the longest he has the the biggest catalog of shows watched be like oh kaya like what what show should i watch and he he, he would always say higarashi he'd always say specifically higarashi no naku koroni <laughs> the full title yeah every time he'd say that and and then and then last year he was like to me and my sister uh like he just he just we just watched it it was like it was just like i think my parents were away for like two weeks or something or like like i think no, a month maybe i think last year my parents were away for a month at one point and in that month it was like because my usually my parents watch a tv show every night but my my parents weren't there so instead it was just like higarashi night and we watched it but we we got we got up to fucking we finished go and started satsu and i don't know if we'll resume it because for a bit my sister's at uni and everything i might have to finish satsu by myself but yeah, that's it, it. I like Higurashi because of that as well, because I love watching anime with not just my family, but groups, but also my family, because it's it's fun to like, it's fun to like spectate over shit like that and be sort of like the fucking peanut gallery of, of like a TV <laughs> show. Like we do it, we're doing it with like Stranger Things now and it's like, you know, it's just fun yeah. to be like that fucking. The problem that. is my parents hate that. Oh, they make you be fucking silent. Oh, My dad yeah. says always says quiet, quiet in the cheap seats. Oh, that's fucking gay, dude. Uh, yeah, no, you, live, no you, live in, you live in an evil household. Yeah. No, but on the other hand, my mom is one of those people who talk a ton about series, <clears throat> but she uh, always says the most obvious things like, what are they going to do? Or, oh, or, oh, oh. they, they can't, they can't do that. No, I mean, my family's just like the fucking old guys from the Muppets. <laughs> No, that's me. That's just that is the second fucking episode in a row we've mentioned old guys yeah, from the Muppets, but <laughs> fucking that's just that's the best way to describe it. Yeah. Or like, it's... no, you know what it is? It's just fucking. Uh, it's kind of like a like goggle box, you know. I know oh, if yeah. you mention goggle box, everyone will fucking threaten you. But the UK goggle box is funny. So yeah, the so, AU one sucks. I've seen an episode of it. It's just it's dog shit. They just that's don't. My like... mom's that's my mom's favorite show. Uh, the AU Gogglebox is not fun at all because like they don't let them be like they 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 make them watch like the most shit Aussie TV. UK Gogglebox yeah. is very open. They watch like all like Netflix shows and all these like you know they sometimes will just watch like an old fucking Christmas movie or something. And and also they let them say fuck on the UK Gogglebox and stuff. So you know on AU Gogglebox like I don't think they're allowed to say swear words. No, the problem with here's the problem with EU reality TV is that they're not allowed to say any sw- slurs. Yeah, but the way that they censor it is with the uh, the classic censor beat. Mm. What happens is you'll have this fucking white chick go on a tirade for like five for like three minutes, right? And every like third word is a swear. Mm. So you're just going, you shut the f- beep, shut the beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Beep, it's like beep, a road for like sound, five you know? minutes on end and there's like and it's because my mom's going deaf right because my parents are old and my family is old and they're all gonna die awesome uh, yeah big yeah. inheritance for you yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh so she has it really loud so i'm just playing something and i'm just hearing like constantly beep. so that's anyway that's how my development was held up all right, sweet. The sense um, of beep. <laughs> the sense of beep. Fucking... Yeah, sorry, let's let's get into furry show. We, you know. All right, yeah. B stars. I love B stars. Like you know, it's very like I watched it back in when it came on like Netflix and like in 2020. I think it was during like lockdown as well. Uh, <coughs> yeah. the show, I though. remember you're really into B stars. I was. I was. I still am. Like I. I like after watching the fucking 
Yeah, and I would usually like with like with anime. So I was just like, if there's like ends on like a season, and and it's like, oh, we're doing more ne- next season coming to you. I'll just usually wait until the next season. But like, Beastars, I think this is one of the few exceptions where like I legitimately like after watching it, I just read all of the manga afterwards. I was like, oh, okay, I cannot just like, I was that enthralled of the show. I was just like, I cannot. You know, just you know Max I- is, you know, Max is down bad when, when uh, they. They decide to fucking read a, a book. Yeah, well, it's I, I think it's because um because it's 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 just a sort of whatever show, but it has it has a it has furries. furries. So. Uh, well, but like it's a it's a decent show. Like the honestly, thing is, like all furry media is dog shit. Is like dog shit for some reason. No, I know the reason. It's because furries have an incredible tolerance for anything that is furries in it. I, I'm all, like, like you, you, you can't, you're kind that. of being a bit dismissive to. Is this, is this wrong? Yeah, I mean, what name? Oh, well, name you're, like, you're, you're, you're not right. Name you're, a couple you're, you're good things, good furry things that aren't B stars. You know. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, you just go like, oh, Zootopia, but like Zootopia's a no. it's Zootopia's a mid. Zootopia like, is a fun movie. I like it. Zootopia is a perfectly adequate but it's child's a family buddy movie. Concept. Yeah, like it's not. Well, as yeah, a, it's not like you know, name like just like. Some furries shit, like, chalk it up as the greatest fucking piece of fiction of all time. It's like, it's not, you just want to fuck uh, the rabbit, dude. Like, chill. That's fine. We all do. I do Come as on. well, but uh, it's like, it's not, I just, you know. Yeah, yeah but just like, people who are really into the furry community pretend that, or actually have gaslit themselves into believing that every, every furry work is like really good when it's, it's like, because I can't, apart from Beastars, I can't really name any furry works that are like good. Like, I can, I can name, like I can name some that are like mid. I'm sure or like is good or like six out of ten. I'm sure some exist, but then I when you hear furries talk about those things that are like all right, all right they talk about them like the masterpiece. It depends. I don't, I don't know. I don't ever watch BNA, but I that's like that's like half furry though. But then yeah, like, I like I like it just sort of just like and then well I if I you watch what's it, that was, BNA like, it was that it was a trigger wasn't it? It was, it was like, trigger yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. She like turned into a animal. I just saw the triple. I just saw the triple Q mashup. Yeah. Um, if you if you want to count the Lion King as furry shit, then that's that's the other thing that immediately comes to mind. Uh, but like, it's not Six furry. Fox. It's just like real animals. So it's like, eh. yeah. Six Fox is all right. I like that. I just like the mechanic of like when you use the item on the item and then you fix it. I, I that that's the whole reason I bought that. And then then I when I opened it up. Uh, the first thing that pops up when you uh, play that game is an explanation for why everyone is furries. You can like, classic. You can a later alligator a furry game. <laughs> not, yeah. I know a lot of people like that game. But yeah, no, I, I I'm sure there's some good furry shit out there, but like, yeah, but like, stars is like the shining example when I think of like furry media that I've watched all the way through and been like, yeah, that was alright. Yeah, like, like, like uh, enjoyed, you know? my point isn't even that all furry media is bad. It's that furries have this weird tendency to <laughs> heavily exaggerate the quality of what they watch of furry shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, like, because they like, get attached to the furries, right? It's, it's yeah, like yeah, you get like, attached to the character uh, designs, I, so it's like. But yeah, but why can't you just say, "Oh, I, I really like this character, but the show's met uh, autism spectrum disorder." Yes, uh, my or My Little Pony. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A side note, uh, my sister watched the MLP movie again on my fucking Netflix, and all I get is just MLP now. That's great. <coughs> nice. Uh, That's what, um, does she not have her own profile? The MLP movie. No, she does, but she just did it on my account for some reason. <laughs> it's awesome. like, like actual actual brain damage, but like... She's just trying to fuck with you. Now, all of my she... fucking Netflix recommendations are all just like, like oh. cartoons or like anime. Because all I've been watching on it is like fucking, it's like the newest Pokemon anime and Total Drama World Tour. So it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's we need we need a Total Drama we need a Total Drama lecture. <laughs> I could do it. I've, I <laughs> that'd be good. I would say right. that Island was where it peaked, and then Action was alright, and then it, no I, World no, Tour. Total Drama mm, World Tour is my favorite, but I can understand why people don't like it. I, I think. When I was a kid, I loved World Tour. Now I would definitely say Island is where I. But that's only because I, I, I think Courtney is the only legitimately well developed character in all of Total Drama, and Courtney got fucking ruined in every subsequent season because of like fan demand for uh, Duncan and Gwen to be together. So they basically undid all of Courtney's character development. Anyway, this is Total Drama rant. 
Yeah, but all right. So uh, well, log, fully, fully is the cast. <laughs> yeah, we, we get we get horribly off topic, and then just like <laughs> that's just all podcasts. There's no need to be ashamed. No, but that. ours is like it's it's, it's it. fine. It's like I listen to Sleepy Cast. It's worse there, I think. <laughs> It's just, it's just like yeah. sentence from sentence to sentence. To anyway, like you, are there any more in your uh, three by three, or shall we move to me? There's, there's not, yeah. fucking. There's way more. Yeah, we only talked about five. I full. I think I'm gonna speed run. Uh, like fully cool. No, it's, it's fine. Like, fine. Fully, no, fully we, cool. we can go for longer. It's fine. We can just do a longer episode. It's fine. Yeah, I don't mind. And if it's really that long, we can always cut it out. Yeah, we can do two parter if you really, you know. Nah, I feel like like we'll, we'll get through this. It just depends yeah. how long it is. It's fine. All right. All right. All right. Like, um, yeah. all right so like fully coolie is fully coolie. Like I like, like I've only watched it like 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 two weeks ago, and I'm fucking in love with this show. I like. Favorite part is the South Park reference. Oh, is, I, I love that fucking bit where he's got like the out, he's like oh, the fucking barbers and he's like I'm fucking oh, oh I love that they fuck lo- my I'm, shit up they fuck my shit up they fuck my eyebrows up I got fucking I gotta go put fucking seaweed on my fucking <laughs> <laughs> it's so good but like I, I, uh, my favorite part about fully coolie is in the interviews explaining why they did things oh yeah we just like this we put it it's in a, it's so unapologetically it's so just like like it just like I, i'm just drawing a lot of shit from other like things i like and like i i love that that's just for I the like gynax formula though like legit fucking, that's like like the psg is literally that as well <laughs> There's two, there's an entire episode of PSG that's a silent movie. And there's also another episode of PSG that's just a music video. Yeah, like it's, it's, there's yeah. another episode. Okay, I won't spoil anymore. Gainax just does shit like that or did shit yeah. like that. I don't know what the fuck they do anymore. Yeah, Gainax is like Gainax. Yeah. Uh, all the good ones went to trigger. And, and, yeah, yeah. And tri- <laughs> and triggers the- trigger. Like like it's good, but like trigger. It's like always consistently good, but it's like I don't know. It's it's like. Eh. Like it hasn't what, made anything Marvel really Yeah, like recently, Matt. it's like what fucking I can name BNA and like that Star Wars fucking episode for that like anthology show, and I'm sure they were good, but it's like, dude, they're making the cyberpunk show. You can't say oh, shit. Fuck, no. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, fucking god. Like, There's gonna be an announcement about that soon. Let's hope they can make that better than the game's plot. Be, yeah, <laughs> I feel like yeah. this might cyberpunk be the case. has a really has a really good. Uh, well, really good never, setting. But yeah. then the, the story for Cyberpunk 2077 was dog shit, but like... My favorite part of the Cyberpunk setting is when they said cops weren't bad. Uh, like, like, and, like, a core Cyberpunk, like, it's very, like, anti-fucking police, and like, I don't know what the fuck they did in 2077, man. But, but like, the, in, in Cyberpunk, the board game, uh, if you're a cop and you're, uh, the, if you're a cop and you're not corrupt, you get killed. That's just the thing that happens. There's no way to avoid that fate. Yeah, and then you just like, get murked by like level, like when you're level three, like level twelve cops that all try and kill you and set you up in an accident. Well, Unless yeah. you're a fucking loser. But, uh, we're know. getting off. We're getting off topic. Yeah, for like, cool is a good show. It's not right. like it's really hard to talk about exactly how it's a good show as much as it's, it's, just it's like, like all because it's like all over the the whole theme of it. It's just like maturity. Like and, it's like, just a really good like like, like character study and shit is what yeah, I yeah that's like. what it is it's yeah. a it's a character study about a, a kid who wants to be an adult. Yeah. That's why, yeah. I don't know, I and never watched... the consequences of that. I... And then they, they, the way they explore that is by having giant fucking uh, robots fight fight each other and fucking hit baseball super good. Yeah, and that's why, like, I don't know, part of, like, I love Fully Cooley as well, but a lot of it is potentially just because I'm oh, Max Muted, but it's probably something. Um, but, like, Fully Cooley is, half of it is because it's really pretty as well. I mean, I, I mean, know it's fucking like, Gainax it's formula, but it's like, like yeah, it's that's why I liked Mob. And my, I had, I've made through throughs before, and Mob used to be on it, and that's like, I love Mob as well for everything else, but like the big, big benefit I get from Mob is I fucking like I f- go frame by frame through the animation to be like, holy fuck, this is a, such a gorgeous show. I did the my, same. My, my favorite thing about Mob is just quickly, uh, is that I feel like everyone working on it likes it. Yeah. You don't get that with a lot of shows. Like, you feel like every animator that was there, you know, had a good time. Yeah. So I was fucking look. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Local is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, my sister just came in there just to say, you need to take the burnout. And so, like, I might take a break in a bit. After. That's okay. 
just, just uh, I mean, we can we can do that when Banjo. We can skip to Banjo's three by threes and come back. No, I mean, uh, if you want, but it's like I feel like you may I, as well. I, I can, I'll I'll just get through these real quick. Like I'll I'll, I'll just we'll, we'll spend like thirty minutes more on this. You um, can you can uh the the last two of yours are on mine, so we can just save that discussion for when I put mine in. Like <laughs> yeah, right, all right. K on um. Like I feel like like Kalon is a very like, is a very like max beat type show again like life slice yeah. of life just yeah. very good vibes the overall that they don't they don't say the n word in that show they don't say no fans of Kalon <laughs> uh, uh oh yeah the fucking Az Azia Azia uh, fucking fans of Kalon when they say when she's like gets like a tan oh, she gets really sunburnt that one episode and like gets tan and then like everyone's just like oh yeah the n word beam. No, I, it's, it's, more, it's, more, it's more the, the guy with the Kalon profile picture uh, replying to a picture of Nagara saying, uh, no, uh, black people try not to, uh, not, try not to be really loud and annoying on public transport challenge. That's uh, classic. There's so much racist Kalon shit. There's a reason why. You know, well, I'm not, I'm not associated. racist to clarify. So, but like, it's, a, I, I just, I, I just think it's a very wholesome show. Uh, <laughs> It's also Digibro's favorite show, so take, take, yeah, you do the... have to wash your hands of it. Okay, fucking end. <laughs> hey, it's not Digibro anymore. It's I forget. But yeah, but like that's their K on. I, I, I it's like the girl, girls goes by now. School girls, Big Studio. School girls. That's it. And that's it. And she's female. Hello. I think. Oh, okay. That was a really time. No, I know, I know. I wasn't. I wasn't saying you were. I was just saying that's that's objectively it is. But anyway. All right. Um. Oh, little bitches playing guitars and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like fucking nerd bitches and shit. All right. Um. But yeah, I'll just I'll quickly I'll quickly be back. I'll take the bins out and you can just get started on your. Yeah. All right. Let's uh let's put in mine. I made this one. I made three or threes a while ago, so, you know, but it's like, I don't know, you can take bets if you want, Connor, but I feel like you'll, you know, we know. generally get what I like. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious though, what, like, what, you know. Higurashi, obviously, Fully Cooley, obviously, Steins, Steins Gate, obviously, uh, I'm trying to think. Spike's family, obviously. Mm -hmm, uh, yeah. Um, what I'm trying to I'm trying to think of the one that I couldn't I wouldn't be able to predict. I uh, think you can predict all of them except for maybe one because you weren't here. You were like in New Zealand when I finished it. <laughs> uh, that would be. Uh, and maybe one you wouldn't. I don't know. You've you've I think you've only gotten one right out of all you've said. So. What? Um. Her glasses are on there? Nope. Really? It was on there at one point, but like, eh. Like you in my old 3x3, three three, but my, yeah, I love, I love Higurashi, but it's, it's like, it, it's probably, you know, top 15, but it's not top 9. Attack on time? Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. Right, I'll just send it in. Um, Death Note? I haven't finished Death Note. <laughs> what? Oh, it's just the gay shows. No wonder I didn't know them. Literally, like two of them are gay shows. Uh, kids on the Sl kids on the slow, bloom into you, AOT, even. How did I not get Evangelion and Zanku no Terror? Yeah. So, uh, for listeners, it's a uh, I I put I put words on mine. So you just in case you really you know didn't know, but uh, first one is Wandering Sun. Also known as Horde or Musko. Um, <laughs> second one is Zankyo no Terra or Terra in Resonance. Uh, the third one is Neon Genesis Evangelion. And then uh, Kids on the Slope slash Sakamichi no Apollon. Bloom into You, uh, Attack on Titan, uh, Weathering with You, Sunny Boy, and Fully Cooley. The only one I don't really know there is uh, the bottom left one. The Weathering with You? Yeah. It's, um... What the fuck's his name? I'm blanking. That guy. What the fuck? How am I... 
Uh, Shinkai. It's a Shinkai movie. Okay, I'm back. No, yeah, Weathering With You is a Shinkai movie. Like, the Your Name guy. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, I fucking, I ran so hard just to get the pins out. Lol. Oh, God. But, uh, right. but, yeah. So, uh, a lot of people sort of, you know, a lot of people say that, that, um, Weathering With You is, like, a generally weaker Shinkai movie, I think. Like, it's not bad, but it's not, like, the best thing he's made. Uh, but I also think Your Name is kind of, like, mid as fuck, so, you know. Fucking ch fight me on some shit, I don't know. Like... I watched, I watched Weathering With You when it came out, and it was just, like, really good. But anyway, let's start from the beginning, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Like, um, Wandering Sun, which is actually where we would have ended on Max's, so, you know, yeah. perfect transition. Uh, I Wandering swear. Sun, f for the audience at home, is a show about trans people. Um, yeah. Transgender children. Transgena, the kids. Yeah, so Tran fucking... Tra Transgena Reinhardt. Yeah, and so, like, I don't know, it's, it's fucking... It's, it's, it's like... You know, when when you are of my um of yeah. my my nature. <laughs> yeah. Uh <laughs> how do we how do we go for this to say so it's like you need this is very No, I'll just I'll say outright I'm like objectively like I don't know, I'm mm. I'm somewhere in between the, the you know, the realms of shit. I'm like a, a, a quote trans feminine person, I guess, right? Yeah. What, what the fuck, like, that means, I don't know, but, you know, I fucking wear girls' clothes and want to chop off my penis, but, um, that that's actually not true, but, you know, the penis like, part, I'm fine with my dick. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, but Wandering Sun is just, like, it's, it's a show that, um, it's a show, so it's about fucking, um, I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm explaining it too much. It's mainly about two trans kids in Japan, and then like a third one is also there. But in the anime, he's sort of like in the anime. In the anime, Marco is sort of like not personified as trans and more like a I don't know, like a gay yeah. kid. But in the manga, it's it's made very very clear. Yeah, um, like it is very like yeah. In the also manga, the Marco bit. sort of started as being a gay kid, and then, yeah, it's true. Technically, technically, one of the the second trans kids isn't actually canon trans, right? Mm. Because Takatsuki's ending, and and sorry if I fucking I know the common consensus is to, um, say Wandering Sun character, <laughs> Banjo like, Mountain. Okay, what the fuck is that background? What's going on there? It's like, is, is that, that like, <laughs> Doctor Phil? <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on, what the fuck are these images? <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. How do you Evangio Malmont? <laughs> you're you're such a you have such a way with, with imagery, Connor. Like you I wanna I wanna get into your you have you have such a beautiful mind. I wanna like I wanna like get <laughs> I don't Look up meme and Google images to show you what. Right, okay, I'm yeah, censor out the name, that. yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, it's all good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Fucking Takatsuki's. I know the common thing is to either use gender neutral or say like the transitioned thing, but it's an iffy subject. And to me, I I'll still always call Shu a he, but I know it's like I guess not right of me to do so. Fucking whatever. Yeah. Come at me, right. motherfucker. Um. But Shu, like, so Takatsuki's tent, and this is spoilers, I guess, for the manga. Uh, yeah. Takatsuki's, yeah. like, yeah, canon ending is that she, like, like, is actually, like, nah, just kidding. I was never actually transgender, which is a bit of a shit ending, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah. But as like, the manga felt... goes, it, it really phases her out as being an important character, so it's like, eh. It's a weird one. It's, I think it was more so fucking Takako not knowing how to end her character arc, and yeah, being like, like "Well, I, I could, I, you know, it. It's a bit boring if they, if all three of them go through with it." <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah, but it's like you didn't really put, add any hints to <laughs> to Takatsuki not being like. It's very apparent that Takatsuki is incredibly trans mask, but whatever. That's the background, by the way. 
Oh yeah, fucking Oprah. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. Thank God. <laughs> um, for audio, like, Connor posted a similar meme to the Max one. But even more but, shit. I feel like a lot of the same way for a Wandering Sun. Like, a, like a like Tchaikovsky. It's like it was a bit of a cop out. Like, like, it, like I mean, it was for like for like for like there, like, like still ending the story. But like, how what like like from talking uh, to Connor's fucking standpoint it's like oh how do i how do i end her fucking bit like her like bit i guess you know yeah it's like it's just i don't know Any routine it was it's a, bit, like, a bit of a shit end but that's not i still love the show for what it is especially legit. the show because the show sort of recontextualizes a lot of things from the manga and sort of picks and chooses like a lot of things like the first step is quite it's similar but different than how it is in the manga it adds sort of mm. a lot more like emotional subtext to it. Like, if you if you watch the first episode of that show and you like fucking relate to it, then you like have a problem, you know? Uh, <laughs> like, it's like I was gonna say, like, it's just like this is if you're like sick, if you're sis, you can like you can like the show does a well enough job of conveying the emotions of the characters, but like if you're you know like if you're like like questioning your gendered identity, I guess. This is like like oh like have like issues surrounding that. This show will like it is a fucking roller coaster. I will, I will just say that this like this fucking there are bits of the show that and like the the manga as well that just like that that that, that killed me. That it's fucking a, yeah, it's a really fucking sad show. Like it's it's like, sad to the point where like it it made me really legitimately depressed. Like same. after watching like, it, I was like, I was upset and like there was. There was like one episode. There was like one scene. It was like a dream sequence, and that just like I'm not gonna spoil too much of it, but like, it, like it was basically like it, it was just I just like after I watched that scene, I legit just like broke down sobbing. Yeah, it's it's like I never I never felt that from a show before. It's like it's a really it's it's so it keeps you going because of not just its relatability to like the audience because I know I know not every fucking trans person is going to watch it and be like, "Oh yeah, it's the best show ever." But like I just the way yeah. that it makes you it like I I kind of like shows that are just sort of sad. Yeah. Know, which is a trend you can see in that that um like that page. But it's like it, it's 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 like it's thralling sad it's like yeah i fucking hated myself and i was reading this manga or like like watching the the anime but it was like i don't know it, it's it's that just was, really fucking you, your specific experience is lost on me but that general feeling of i will i'm continuing this because of how shit i feel and how i need to see how it follows up is exactly my experience with love love yeah it's like, like it's, it's it's just it's it's like the peak of of a uh, of anime that to me like that is just like i was i'm i'm literally making a thing i actually have premiere open with the thing like making a, a main channel chip to video with that as a source Spoilers. yeah i don't Spoil- it'll i'm, I'm yeah, almost I'll, done I'll so up. yeah i'll probably be out before this episode comes up but like um but like that fuck i like i just have to go through footage of that show to like find it and i'm like i had to like take breaks when going through footage because like fuck yeah. this shit like, is sad dude like it's like it's like, it's like i, I thinking about love love when i start thinking about it, i start to feel sick mm. well, like, it's, love love's quite a different you know type legit of- like you got like tran like like trans experience and like I, I don't even know what the fuck love love's about again love love is about uh uh, giving your audience PTSD. Awesome. That's what it does. But, but like, like, <clears throat> yeah, Wandering Sun. I think I, I really like shows about characters as well. Like, if yeah. you look at the list as well, you see all like it's it's very. But um, so it, it's that sort of like I guess existential sadness that, that keeps you coming back because it's it's that whole that that relatability of just fundamentally not being the person who who you envision yourself or want to be you know mm. like if you, like people talk you can talk about and obviously Shu is like the main character but the most realistic depiction is is marco oh it's yeah a, it's mark yeah it's marco his friend i always get confused because his sister is maho but it's yeah. marco because it's Makardo. 
Like, Marco is is more because, you know, and there's no way to sugarcoat it. Marco is ugly. Um, <laughs> like, 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 she's, like, like a- Shu's whole thing is, like, everyone everyone already thinks he's a girl, so it's like, oh. And then, like, like, as the easy. manga goes on, it gets, like, a little bit more relatable because Shu gets and plays, like, a teenager and it ends when he's, like, 18. Yeah, that's, and, like, that's always this, like, it's a mother thing here. It's, like, like it gets... Gets more painful during it, like there's like genuinely shit, like like uh, Chu talks about, and that just like it's like you feel the same a lot, like as you like. I- I'm gonna say this right now. I don't think I've, I've again, like what we got you said before. Like I haven't expressed it for for like I'm, <laughs> ge- like I'm generally like I'm 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 like MTF, like I'm like a like, parents man, but like your mama, so, your mama, huh? but like like when like you read shit like this like it's like this is like like shit like the descriptions like Shu says it's like it's like you fucking it's almost like re- like we weirdly reliving some of the shit you think about yourself and that's like and it's like if it, and you see you see like i don't know hon like you as a show like it's like it's like sad and like you just feel so sorry and it's like holy oh, shit this is horrible and but you want to like you want to keep on going because you just want to see you want to say I want to see how this ends for them you know I want to see them yeah like, yeah because it, it perfectly encapsulates the the idea of like hopelessness that that comes with specifically dysphoria because it's like a lot of it is is less about the idea of of like just generally being sad and more about like the fact that you're sad about something that you cannot fundamentally fix and that's something that yeah. that's something that i think fades as you get older and just generally more confident at least for me it did but when i was probably when i was younger that's the whole thing like it really it reminds it reminds you of when you're younger like that and like when i was like 14 like looking at my fucking like fucking uh like how my neck fucking width and like my shoulder broadness and shit yeah like the fucking yeah. An- analyzing every fucking piece of my body it, it, it's it's really it really it perfectly encapsulates that especially not even just with shoe but even with takatsuki with the like takatsuki having to wear a bra and shit like in the anime that's more where you see it in the manga there's a lot of shit like that or well, like shoe i don't know it's and I, I, we, I could talk for ages about that fucking show and manga because I actually, I do think it's really good. It's not like I, I, I'd give it such high marks because of, of a lot of, you know, it's, it's still a good show to watch if you don't relate to it. I think, but it's yeah, it, it won't hit as hard. It's like, like it's a very, it's a very personal show. Yeah, to say the least, <laughs> it's because there's not there's other characters as well that that are really good outside of that whole thing, like fucking um salary is a really fucking like sad character i guess in that sense like everyone's depressed as shit in that show and not just the trannies um i'm sorry i shouldn't say tranny as much but <laughs> <laughs> just, just yeah. not a nice word is it, it just doesn't sound good yeah um, the, the, the pride but, month yeah, pride. yeah. <laughs> but yeah like salary and like fucking uh like doi is one of the more interesting characters i think Doi is a uh, real, real basket character. Yeah, Doi like he starts with being such a such a dick, and then as you keep going, it's like it's really, I don't know, he's very interesting. Same with um, like Doi and like fucking um, yeah, probably Salary are like the more interesting ones that, that aren't fucking Truins. But anyway, that's my uh, that's expert opinion. Uh, good show, made me cry a lot. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I just started tearing up just thinking about my love. Uh, that's all I will say on the subject. Cool, cool. I won't, I, I'm not going to talk about my love. I, I, I know like, it's a very personal show. Uh, when the anime like, comes out, we'll fucking go ham on it. But. Yeah, yeah I, I would unironically really. The problem with the anime is it's not adapting the most important part of it, which seems like the least important part of it because Love Love is split into uh, three sections. Mm hmm. And it's only adapting the second and third. <laughs> in the first section, which seems like the least important is actually the most important. But uh Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. I don't <coughs> I I feel I feel emotion very strongly. I uh I it's it, that's not a good thing nor a bad thing. I, I, I see as neutral. I say that a lot about personality traits. Most personality traits aren't even aren't good or bad. They're just neutral and let me tell you it's not a good thing about my love mm-hmm. 
Well, <clears throat> let me uh, let me proceed because I could fucking if you if you get me going, I could I could spend fucking half an hour talking about Wandering Sun, but <laughs> yeah, I fuck probably, it. I probably spent a, a long amount of time then I w- talking I would about like it. So like, yeah. I'd like to. I wanted guys, to make like one of those fucking like a video essay thing about it for ages, but like I don't have a place where I could put it, and all the effort to write a script. Mm. But uh, let's move on to Zankir and Otero. I I plan to watch the trailer. <laughs> like I plan first yeah. off. So context: Banjo has been p- pestering all of us in our friend friend group to watch this show. I've been pestering. So I've been I've been pestering Tig to watch it since I watched the show. <laughs> I watched the show when it, it what it came out in twenty fourteen or thirteen, I think. And I think I first watched it at that age. So I, I watched it when I was in grade like five or six, I think. Um, it was one of the first like shows I watched, and it's it's um it's a show by Shinichiro Watanabe of Cowboy Bebop and Space Dandy and Carol and Tuesday. Yeah, I was about to say if you don't Space Dandy, I'll fucking right. Fucking Carol and Tuesday and all this other fuck, shit. Should have put Space Dandy on. Fuck, that's what I replaced fully coolly with. <laughs> um, yeah. But Zanky no Terra. We should show. We should well watch if we if we do end up moving in together, we should all fucking sit down and watch space standing together. Mm. It'd be a fucking amazing time. But yeah, um Zanky no Terra is a show that is it's 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 again, it's it's basically just a, a big fucking like character study for these these people. It's a show about terrorism and I feel like the way I've you know, I I I, I beg all my friends to watch it because it's probably my favorite show ever made favorite anime ever made um and it's a show about terrorism but it's not really about terrorism it's it's just about kids who are terrorists um and it's like it's like fucking you know what's fucked up is i realized i was watching the new stranger things and like they actually like i'm not gonna spoil too much but there's like eleven's whole thing is it's it's kind of similar to fucking 9 and 12's uh backstories so you know 9 you and 12 are the main characters a new, new 9 and <laughs> 12 in the new stranger things season coming coming soon yeah they, <laughs> they man fucking they blow up tokyo <laughs> yeah that's, it's, uh, that's a stranger thing that's uh stranger things goes to tokyo yeah but yeah thank you no terror i don't know it's hard to like properly talk about it uh, but it's like it's a really it's again a really sad show but not in this like they have Lisa who's sort of this whatever I don't know Lisa's kind of a shit character but um, <clears throat> and then like they I, I it's it's really it's just a really good display like like breakdown of these characters and they, they're just really well written and stuff it's kind of cliche but I like it anyway it's like a part of it is probably nostalgia talking because I I watched it with my sister when I was young and I appreciated it for that a lot. But I do legitimately think it holds up really well. And like I watched it, I rewatched it last year, and I was like, yeah, no, this this show still fucks. <clears throat> also, the fucking this detective guy, I forget characters' names, so you know, forgive me. I know it's like meant to be my favorite show, but I I always I forget a bunch of fucking character names. <clears throat> like I, I Sakamichi's on there. I actually don't remember any of their names. <laughs> I just remember really liking it. I always, I names just come and go for me. Uh, like the I remember Wandering Sun and Bloom into You because I'm doing shit with them right now. But <clears throat> yeah, Zang, I, I can't talk much else about it. It's really just good. Watch it if you can. Fucking Watsonabe is is a really good mate. Also, it was Mappa's first show. No. Yeah, no, Sakamichi was Mappa's first show. It was Mappa's second show um, that they ever animated. So, you know, a bit of a Mappa origin story there. Um, and, you know, now Mappa does fucking everything, but they, they started here, baby. Pretty strong start, though, I am him. <laughs> You're pretty lucky, like, if your first show that you're animated as a new studio was a Watanabe show, because, like... Like, I, I don't think he's made a bad show. <laughs> and yes, I'm jerking him off, but fuck it, he makes good shit. <laughs> so what if I have to jerk off a couple couple producers if they deserve it? Yeah, he's fucking, he's goaded. Uh, Evangelion is next. I don't, I, what Rage the fuck do you next. say about Eva, like, that hasn't... It's I, like, it's like, it's like, like, Eva it's like, has been, everything about Eva has been said, 
and it has been said multiple times in multiple languages by different people by uh in different ways in different formats yeah it's, it's a good, it's a there it is probably it is one of the most talked about things at least in like, like it's it's very good, you know. That's I, like... I know pe- I know people that don't watch anime and they've they've watched this show. Like I don't like. like <laughs> yeah. they say it's good. It's it's like, like there's not much else you can say about Eva. The fact that it's really good, everyone it's everyone fair. knows that it is. But it just you know, it's a good show. And I I Kaoru is the fucking coolest character of all time. Yeah, Kaoru, um, love him. Yeah, I I maybe uh, see. Maybe I could have put rebuilds on there, but I don't know. Eva, Eva and Gellion obviously refers to me the fact that it's the original the show plus End of Eva because that's like yeah. the end of it. But like, it is better. But rebuild is like rebuild does a lot of things. I feel like rebuild fixes some things. Like rebuild yeah. made me like Shinji, and all, rebuild no, rebuild made me empathize with Shinji and yeah, like they Asuka. Do, they, they do a lot to. So, like, make them more, like, uh, broachable as characters, I guess. Yeah, make Kaoru like, uh, weaker, but... Mm, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, especially the third film, that fucking, that sucked. Yeah, it was it kind of blue, but... <laughs> uh, blue, that's Venus. Yeah. Blew my dick. I don't know. Imagine, I, I always say this, imagine being, like, watching, uh, the, because, like, a rebuild, like, fucking... You cannot, uh, you cannot redo came out and, like, fucking... 2012 and we like it and fucking like uh like for us one time count last year imagine waiting that fucking long to get the, the seat the, a lot of people the, did like i know like, they got very didn't they get very angry about it yeah yeah it was, it was a big it was thing just gynax shit i guess but like i don't think gynax oh, sh- i should have put dolly and the franks on i would fucking kill you if you put dolly and the franks on <laughs> Dolly and the Franks has nothing apart from people who really like Zero too. Yeah. yeah. Um, people, people, people really, uh, pe- people really like chicks who just love them no matter what, huh? Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> um, yeah, Evangelion, good show. Watch it, I guess. Yeah. Sakamichi is fucking. I I wish I prepared more because Sakamichi, I can't even remember that much about it, <laughs> but I know <laughs> right. I love it, right? I remember the I remember what I need to remember about it, but it's yeah. like it's so it's 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 like fucking I don't want to say too much because I don't want to recap the plot too much, but it's like set in the fucking sixties, and it's like this fucking bitch nerd guy who only knows classical piano learns to like be like a fucking like a, a better person through this this guy at his school who plays jazz or whatever. That's basically the the general thing of the show. So it's it's it's. A, a similar to Zanki no Terra, I guess, but not not really similar. Actually, more similar to Wandering Sun, I guess. I don't know. It's not similar to any of them, but like, its genre is a story about a guy with personality faults who uh, who uh, betters himself through someone else. Very yeah. common, uh, very common subgenre of the of anime. Yeah, I just I, it's a really it's a really sweet show. It has a lot of like. The dynamic between the two main guys are really good, and the girl is there, I guess. Um, the fucking... <laughs> the, the girl is, like... The girl's there, and she's like, all right, cool, but she's she's very... She's not really that useful. Um, the, like, the guy... There's, like, an older guy who, like, plays jazz with them. He's fucking... He's sick. I love him. And, yeah, like, it, it's, it's, it's one of those... It's just a show that made me really sad, because... And it's, what's great about it is it made me really sad, but not because of any, like, tragedy. Other things, like, shows sort of... Like, Wandering Sun, it's not a tragedy, quote-unquote, but you, you're sad because the characters are really sad. Yeah. But in, in like, Thank You No Terror and everything else, like... But Sakamichi you're, you, it makes you sad, but not because the characters are necessarily sad. It's It's, like... Just the setups of how it is and how, like, the ending in particular, it makes you, like... It made me cry. The ending made me cry not out of, like, out of just happiness, but it was, like... it It's... The way it illustrates the relationship, it's sort of, like, tragic in certain parts. And I think that's why it, 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 can, it really pulls on your fucking heartstrings or whatever. Like, because just... I, I'm not going to spoil too much, but, like, 
the fucking there's there's times when like the main guy and the the drummer dude sort of you know fall out and they don't like talk as much and that that kind of gets you like really just upset because it's like you know it's 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 like a romance between those two but it's not it's a bromance yeah like it's and that's why it's it's the ending really fucking the ending oh fuck it sent me it sent me places i didn't know i could go <laughs> also the ending, out, the ending took out a big red fucking boxing glove and put it in a jack in the box and yeah. you fucking opened it up and it launched you into the fucking stratosphere yeah also i know every fucking sakamichi fan says this i think but like it's 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 basically your lion april but better and shorter like your lion april i've seen them both i i I don't dislike Your Lie in April, but it, it's a little bit like it doesn't earn its sadness as much as well as Sakamichi does. Sakamichi, you get a lot more attached to characters, and there's like more legit because they're very similar in in premise. Is why like is because it, they're both sort of like music shows centered around music, specifically piano that like more focus on like that use that music as like a device to illustrate like a character like a character progression and relationship yeah and also like uh three gods in a line sure but like well that's a red side drama of anime about uh a person interacting with another through a medium yeah it allows them to better themselves in high school but yeah y'all in april it's like it just it just it's like me just does it but better you know i'll be honest Oh, yeah, that's all I can really say. It's it's see the your lion. It also itself. made me cry. Eva didn't make me cry. I'll say, Wandering Sun, Zanki no Terra, and Sakamichi made me cry. Even Galleon, I didn't cry for. I just I was fucking pondering. Yeah, yeah I think I was pondering. It's, it's, not, really, it's not like a sad show, but it's like it's like yeah. a more. It's, it's very phil- I think philosophical. Galleon is more depressive than sad. Yeah, it's like a, there's no like overt like sad. Well, there is a couple. But it's not like overtly sad. It's just more. This world is a depressive world to live in. Yeah, it can get you down, but it doesn't make you like bawl your eyes out. Yeah, it's like right. it's almost like I don't know. Yeah. Like, ugh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so profound, true. Profound, profound statements by Max Garcet. Um. But, uh, yeah. Sorry. Do you want to uh, add anything? Or. Oh yeah. Like uh, other than that, like I feel like. Shows like this, I guess, they saw like they they reside in like everyday situation. Like like with Evangelion, you can sort of be detached in the sense it's like, oh, you know, further, like the second impact and everything. So there's like a different timeline. It's not like you could. There's still that level of detachment, but with like shit like I guess like Sakamichi and like Wandering Sun, I get like if, since it's like the settings can be so so believable. <coughs> like, you can like you can like base it in your world. Like, and, like, especially, with like, just, like, if you can relate to the characters as well, a like click case in point with, like, us with, like, Wandering Sun, like, you just get, like, you just fucking, like, holy shit. It, like, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a very, it's just, like, it shows that are very human compared to yeah. Eva. Eva's a lot more, like, I, I like, I, I guess it's because, like I said, I like shows about characters and stuff. Eva is a show about characters, but not to the extent of, like, it's characters in like this the context of like the world they live in as opposed to like their their own like personal things i yeah. guess like like it, it, yeah, yeah shinji has like inner struggles but it's all based around this like this like existential element. dread he has due to the world around him yeah like it's not like it's all- you know you just yeah, like you get the sense that it's like it's, it's just like it's like these such as like grandiose like things that happen in the world and like the characters reacting to them. You know, there's like there's like I can't really relate to that. So this is that you have that level of detachment. But like since there's like you have these animes that are just like the settings are so and like the things that happen to them are just so intrinsically human. Mm. You can you be more ready to to like relate to them more and like you know be more empathetic to them. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, All well, right. uh, before we get into Bloom interview, I'm very sorry, but I need a pee. All right, sweet. Yeah. I'll, I, I'll, 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 I'll try and be quick because I don't want to waste I'll, too much time in the thing. You can I'll, cut I'll, it out I'll, if you want, or if you say I'll something funny, some, you can uh, do whatever. If, if we manage to keep this in, I'll add elevated music the entire time. So. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go pee pee. I'll be like one sec. 
You're okay. Right. I mean, I'm honestly surprised. My, well, I was about to say, I'm honestly surprised that Banjo hasn't experienced Muv Love because it is literally that. It is literally everything that Banjo likes into one series. But then I ran into it, oh yeah, it requires the only way to consume it is a visual novel. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Like, this, like, I th like Fate Stay Night is fantastic. Uh, Fate's, Fate Stay Night is one of... is incredible. But it, n no matter how it's done, it cannot be as good as it is dur uh, through its visual novel. It was made in that format, it is that format. And no matter how many adaptions it does, it just doesn't work, because it just has so much information. I guess the only other way to when you can enjoy Fate Stay Night, apart from like just reading a visual novel, is through a wiki. Like uh, the thing with Fate for me, it's just like it seems like um, like, there's just a lot of just a lot of it. Yeah, it's very yeah. dense. Um, fate is about it is Fate itself. Everyone talks about Fate Stay Night like it's uh, something uh, by itself, but it isn't. It's actually part of uh, Fate as a trilogy. Each novel is sixty hours long. Yeah. It is 180 hours in total. Mm. For me, it's quicker because I have a quick reading speed. That's the most of the reason why I can why I can uh, appreciate visual novels because I can just read through them quickly. Yeah. So I'm not going so slow. It's not like a humble brag. Like my reading skill is like one of the most. Uh, I, I I can attest that because you read like you caught up to like like when were you reading Homestuck? We're back on the Homestuck shit. But like, I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm you, read, you, you got to where I it. was, like, I, I, I got to like six. So I, I, I completed, no, I completed I'm Homestuck back. in like a year. And you, you read all of Homestuck in like two weeks, which is fucking. It wasn't two weeks, it was eight days. Eight days, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like. And a lot of that is also, you know, fucking around with the games. <laughs> Uh, because I read it, I read it when it was still had all the games. It was watching the videos, which is w way longer. It is watching all the gifts. It is, you know, I read the, uh, I read the, uh, the uh, game facts walkthrough. You know, you read that. What the fuck is wrong with you? The fuck is it's funny. No, dude, that's it, like... it's, inten it's intended to be consumed. You moron! If you haven't consumed the fucking walkthrough, I downloaded then... um. The unofficial Homestuck collection thing. Oh yeah. Just Is that like the version of Homestuck with all the shit? It's it's an EXE file specifically made to read Homestuck stuff, so it's very it's 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 very uh, featured and stuff. I don't know. I I went I literally found out about it because I went on Hussey's Twitter and he was like he retweeted someone saying, "By the way, this is the best way to read Homestuck." It has like options to like. The only thing is, it has like uh, like trigger warning options, and that's kind of gay, you know? Like, yeah, that, like well, yeah, so, like, it's like to that's, take that's out like offensive words that you wouldn't say now, but it's like no, nah, well, you can turn it off the, or on, which is cool. That's some ninny shit. So like, yeah. you go and leave that. I, you only yeah, like, it's like I, eight I would, gigabytes I to like download it all. I wonder if funny. there's an option. <laughs> I wonder if there's a, yeah. I wonder if there's an option to turn off the arm retrieval arm. That's the only way I'll ever refer to it. You cannot tell me otherwise. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite part of the bit, where the shit part of Homestuck literally infects the good part of Homestuck. I'm not kidding, that happens. Yeah, that happens. Uh... Cool. Yeah. Alright, let's get back to- let's get back to it, shall we? Let's you think to... the yeah. class specs would be uh, on, on an alpha beta uh, range if it was made uh, today? I do not Just fucking care. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta stop the home stop talk. We gotta we gotta save this. We, need, we, we need to make we need to make a we need to make a before and after home stock podcast. No. <laughs> <laughs> My life yeah. pre home stock. Yeah, well, it's like it'll be like it'll be My like post home stock. Being homeless. Yeah. <laughs> My, like My always sunny stuck. smoking crack. Fucking <laughs> like. All right. We smoke. We split for a whole right, day. Next one. Yeah, do you want me to? All right. All right. Bloom into you. Next one. Uh, it's uh, it's a Yuri show. Um, yeah. I I heart I heart lesbians. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Bloom into you is is kind of weird because <clears throat> I don't know. It's I I like I like romance shit in that way specifically in that it it's, it's Bloom into you is again kind of just depressing for its setup. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's fucking. It's it's you who like is perceived asexual at the start, but then like is actually just 
isn't. And then she's just it, like really fucking trying to make this girl love her. Because it's, it's just like mm-hmm. a weird setup where it's like fucking Nanami is like really um like insistent on 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 loving you, but you not loving her back because Nanami is like a really tragic fucking character. And so like it it I don't know it's like maybe maybe I uh fucking I. <laughs> Awesome. I want to learn how to dive. <laughs> you, should, you should put that in the podcast. The fucking yeah, we're gonna put that. I'm gonna put that on right now. And <laughs> defeat Grand Blue for for audio listeners. Yeah. Um, and he wants to learn to to dive. That's so cool. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Blooming to you is just it's really yeah. Uh, not that I relate to you because I I'm not. I'm not really. I've never been in that situation, you know. I've I've never been with a with a girl who doesn't want me to love her or anything. Or nor have I ever thought I was ace, except for maybe the brief, maybe the brief moment after watching the show. I was like, oh wait, am I like an asexual? And I realized no, I'm not at all. No, I just, you're, I just, you're relentlessly holy. I'm just single. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. I don't. I don't no, have I, anybody. I, wait, am I ace? <laughs> Nobody want me. You know, my <laughs> yeah, no, I realize it's just it's just I I've never had a partner, so I'm like, oh fuck, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shit. <laughs> fuck, I want to fuck. I need a chair. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no, I don't actually give that much of a shit, but it's like <laughs> yeah, see, so, see, someone who gives that you. someone who gives that much of a shit would say that. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't actually care though. Like, I, I'm I'm fine without like a partner or anything. I don't, no, need, I don't, need, I, I don't, I don't need a girlfriend. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. I just have to sleep every night, but I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I don't need like a girlfriend. I'm, I'm like, I'm I'm totally happy without one. But it's just like you know, like it's, yeah, got, it would just interrupt my schedule. On, like, proceeds to go, like take a place from the show. It's like that should be me. <laughs> that should be me. <laughs> No, what I what I love about Bloomin' to You more than any other show is the show literally had me like it one had me like squealing like a little girl looking at the fucking like the, the scenes yeah, where they kissed each other. Oh, yeah. And it's then it yeah. also had me like it also had me like cheering on you. Like audibly cheering on you, like, yeah you fuck yeah. You fucking so get you- that bitch, you know? Yeah, it's like <laughs> like like you just you just want to cheer on fucking you <laughs> so badly. I guess it, like like I watched a show as well, and like it, like there are like there's so many bits where you just like, oh yeah 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 like go, keep on pursuing like per- pursuing that fucking like go get him you know yeah it's like blue, blue, blue and then you just the, uh, like none of me and like just be like oh please don't ever love me please don't. yeah You're like fuck. Yeah. Like, watching like, Blue and I, Zero, it seems like it's the experience of watching a friend trying to ask out a girl. Yeah, it's great though, because like it's like a spectator shit. Like when whenever <laughs> she gets like denied, I'm not like I'm like I get I I Ooh, am we'll partially sad, time. but I'm mo- I'm mostly like fuck, dude, shit. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll, get, get, him next, we'll get him next time. I'm like a we'll bit get. disappointed. Cause I'm like, oh man. Plus, also because I I I don't know. I like I like self yeah, insert as you for some reason. I'm not really anything like her, but I, I feel like I just I just relate to her on a sort of cosmic level. I don't yeah, really know why. Like, I, we just like I like I re- I, re- I remember when you got me into the show. I was I was like watching it, and it's like this is a very uh very banjo type beat. You know? <laughs> yeah, this is like this weirdly is a banjo moment. Like like as personality wise, it's pretty different. But like 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 this is like like this is a premise, and like like I was like feeling expressed it's like. Yeah, this is very, very banjo esque. It's you know? just, yeah, it's like I don't, I'm really nothing like her, but I just like have this weird like I vibe with her, mm. like I re- I relate to her a lot in some sort of way. I'm sure I could dig deep and really understand why, but <clears throat> I don't you know. Like I need to women. rewatch the show properly. You like women? I I, I like women, and nobody I, want I- me. I hope women. No, maybe, um, maybe it's because, and you know, forgive me for getting a bit too personal here on the funny, the funny Robo Cafe podcast where we make nah, wacky we, jokes. We we've done it like all the episodes <laughs> ahead. Too. Yeah, uh, maybe I think it's more because I, I'm definitely not ace by any means, but I have that similar thing where you kind of thought she she didn't call herself ace, but she was just like she she thought she didn't really fit in because she never really had any form of attraction towards anyone yeah and i guess i i related on that level because it's like 
you know, it's not that I'm anti-romance, it's that I've, I've just never met a single person that I'm, like, like, really legitimately interested in. So that's why, I'm, maybe that's why I sort of get it. And then, yeah. you know, and then, you know, she gets someone, so then it's like, you know, that should be fucking me. <laughs> I mean, it was. Why, why do I get nobody? Yeah, why but fucking right, nobody right, got right. me, and meanwhile she's got a fucking obsessive, you know, senpai bitch kissing all over her mouth. It's like, what the fuck? Fuck you, man. Also, fuck Psyche. Yeah. Okay, she's I, legitimately I, well, I, an interesting character, but fuck Yeah, Psyche. I was gonna say, but like... <laughs> Okay. Like I understand her motives, but still, she doesn't change. She's a bit of an asshole. Bit of a you. knobhead, yeah. She's just like, like you had your chance. You want to like Psyche wants to talk shit. Hi, Tiger. Psyche uh, wants to like talk shit all the time about to fucking you know about you and shit. But it's like you you've you've known that you've known Toko for so many fucking years, and you you had your chance, you know. So don't I mean, don't act upset. Yeah. Uh, we finally started. 100% agree. Okay. Tag, you, you, you came in you're late. Yeah, uh, you, you came in. You know, we, we were recording you know, for a very long time. I was recording when I was working. I just finished work. Do you, do you have. A, uh, I know. Do you know the premise of this episode? Do you know Yeah. I don't have one. He can, he can right. rank ours. It's fine. Yeah. We're almost <laughs> finished anyway, but. Uh, yeah, well, I'll just. Uh, I'll just... <laughs> Yeah, Bloom and You is is a really is a really um charming show about girls that uh you know to summarize it in one sentence that shit gay uh <gasps> but really it's 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 you as a character makes the show more interesting you and Nanami both actually make the show very interesting to me because of the way they approach you know the like Nanami's whole fucking character is is really not tragic but just really somber yeah so it's like it's it's I don't know why it's... yeah so that's why i think it makes it more interesting than perhaps i don't because i don't really watch much traditional romance or traditional yuri i don't i don't think i've ever actually watched like a proper romance show mm. but i, I know it's not really my jam yeah but i love this one because of the way that it's i guess it approaches it and not it's not being such a straightforward thing especially it also deals with and not that I overly relate to this, uh, you know, but like it deals, it, yeah, it deals with specifically being a lesbian in Japan, like, oh yeah, the, with like the teacher and everything and psyche. Like it's like there's a whole concept that um, what's her name, Hazel, touched up on on like a like the uh on like a previous video that she, del- I think she privated it now, but like, fuck is um, Hazel. There's like YouTuber, she does a lot of like analytical shit and like long form content. She looks at fucking anime from 1955 and talks about how it's the greatest show of all time. No, that's not true. I mean, there's like one episode, there's like one video she did about that, but still, like it's like, but she did talk about the whole weird complex of like, of how like in like in Japan, it's very common for like there to be like pseudo relationship between like high school girls and that. And like uh, like after they graduate, just like those <laughs> those relationships pl- completely dissolve. It's a very uh, complex and like interesting topic to like Please. examine. No wonder birth rates are going down. Yeah, it's 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 a really beyond <laughs> interesting show with shit like that. Yeah, I knew it was yeah, the AOT. Um, yeah, AOT Attack on Titan, Shingeki no Kyojin. The anime of all time. I I yeah. haven't read the manga or actually seen the most recent season for AOT, so it, you know, the most recent one could be dog shit, and I I could think it's the worst show of all time. But from everything I've seen of AOT, it or it like it just it just at least again I haven't finished. I've only seen up to where season three ended. I think right or was it season four, season three ended. Uh, or like it was like part no whatever the fuck I got up to I haven't seen the final season whatever that is I've seen everything before the final season which is not the final because it's in two parts but um, that show just like kept getting better and better it's like it started off as like just the big show of like what 2013 yeah and everyone was like 
yeah, everyone just watched it when it came out and was like, yeah, it's fun, I guess. And then it it just it just like every season just got better. It never like stopped, you know. It it just Improving. it's it's like Mob did that as well, where it's like fucking season yeah, two Mob just out, was like, better, pretty good, and then it just kept getting better and better and better yeah. and better. So it's like I I don't know I, I again, AOT is like Eva, where you can't really say much about it that hasn't been said. Also, I'm not really qualified to because I haven't. I'm not up to date. Yeah, <clears throat> but everything I see about it, I really just, I really love, like the way it. I, I love the way it transformed from like a show about fucking kids fighting big, big like, de- like, fucking flesh people, like monsters, to fucking like this show about like fucking like the politics of of the like internal walls and like Aaron as a cult leader and all this fucking like just really, bizarro uh, shit. I mean. The only thing I'm going to say about it is I should watch AOT because it's, I I should watch AOT because both I I my feelings about AOT are both good and bad because it's incredibly inspired by Marvel Love, so I know I would like it, but at the same time, like a lot of the imagery is taken out of Marvel Love, I think intentionally, and that it just. <clears throat> Attack on Titan is just like the way I, I think again because I like char- like shows about characters more than char- shows about worlds, but like, <clears throat> um, it's it's like it's fucking this the way it it has you know m- demonstrated I guess character progression in, in a lot of things is is really really interesting and legitimately like like I love Armin's growth as a character in that show. Uh, Armin, you know, is, like, the fucking coolest dude on Earth, I feel like, now. And, like, I don't know, Aaron... Aaron, I didn't love the way he progressed, but he's interesting, at least. I, I, I maybe, again, I don't know, there might be some grand fucking scheme. I don't know, because I don't know what the fuck happens at the end of it, so... That's all I'll really say on that. Also, animation's yeah. fucking beautiful in a lot of scenes. Mappa, yeah. Mappa, sort of it went down, but it didn't go drastically down well, just, with Mappa. Yeah, I, mean, I thought it was a new studio, or was that for the first season? Mappa took over in season three. And then the first video, um, they animated Ranky of Kings. Yeah, I forget the official one, the original one, but it, it, the f- animation on the first one, the first two seasons, was better. There was a lot of CG in the second season, but it was still fine. Um, but the, the, the Mappa seasons, they're not terribly animated. They just have this kind of different art style that doesn't look as good, I think. Like, Mappa generally, it makes okay <laughs> shit. It's just not as good as it, as it was. Yeah. I'm trying to see, I like, mean, wit. It was wit for the first. And every, every, Mappa. like, a lot of, like, to me, it's really weird. Because I would, I wouldn't say all of the like all not none of the individual plot beats themselves are taken from Love Love, but most of the overarching shit seems to be. You haven't even seen it, dude. Yeah. I've, I've I've been on Twitter. I've I, interacted with. I've anime. been on Twitter. I don't know what the fuck happens in AOD. I'm just talking about the the like the first three seasons. First three seasons are like the Titans attack the fucking town. And then the second season is like fucking what? What even? That's like second season is like with um like the the Titan mm-hmm. royal family and shit. You me? Yeah. And then the third mean, season is like fucking what? What is? It? Uh, isn't it Kenny? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it is. All those peeps and shit. With like yeah, they guns. Yeah. Like, it's, I don't know, it is actually, AOT is a show about the world more than it is characters, but I think I appreciate it for some of its characters. Particularly Armin. Armin is a standout in that show. Uh, yeah, next one, I guess, uh, is Tinky No Co, also known as Weathering With You in English. It literally translates to uh, a weather child, so I knew that. See, I got a weather this child. I saw the kanji in the theater, and I, I was able to read it, because it's really fucking basic, like, child Japanese. But 
<clears throat> Weather with You was a Shinkai movie. Um, that it it's one of the more recent ones. I think there might be more that came out after it. <clears throat> but like, it's a Shinkai movie about like a boy and a girl, which is every fucking Shinkai movie. But like, I don't know. It's it's just really that more than that. I'd say maybe out of all of them, it is the most purely driven by characters. Like, as opposed to everything that happens, like, it's it's very, like, sort of, the the, the girl in, in the movie is, is really, you know, she's integral and she fucking does all this important shit and the boy is, like, you see a lot about his, like, backstory and stuff and how they relate and it's very, like, the end is very about the end is the end is a little bit you know is is criticized and i get why but it's 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 more so to encapsulate their relationship the end uh, is never the end is never the end is never the end yeah is the never stanley the parable end. anime i should put that one on there <laughs> i would i that that does seem like something they do uh i'd watch the shit out of a stanley Parable. it's just the fucking bloom broom closet ending kono wa story no whatever the fuck <laughs> Uh, fucking what's it? I'm blanking. I was trying to make a funny joke where I was gonna say there's a story about a man named Stanley in Japanese, but I forgot how to speak Japanese. All right, Sunny oh, no. Boy. Oh, I, forgot, I forgot the word for man was. Sunny Boy. Uh, wait, no, fucking one weather with you. I'll say um, it's 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 like romantic, I guess, as well. So that's like a plus. You know, yeah, that movie made me cry. Yeah, made me fun. made me go sad mode. Made me way <laughs> sad. <than your name. laughs> Fuck you, your name. Can You're a mid movie. Oh. <laughs> All right, Sunny Boy. Fucking uh, Sunny Boy is a show. I forget the guy, but I know he worked on um a lot of Shinichiro Watanabe stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and Watanabe, I think, designed some characters for the show. Not that that yes. really does anything for the plot, but <clears throat> I'm just saying, I, I, you know, perhaps that's that might be where uh, where my love for it, you know, sort of stems from. Did he do Stop the Bomb? <laughs> what? Stop, uh, what's that show called about the about the trans one? Oh, fuck. Oh, if, if he buried oh, him. What's an Abe didn't do Hibari I think he just the guy who did character designs. Oh yeah, was it that one who did it? What? The... Yeah, no, you're right. Hibari Kun. It was the bar Hibari Kun guy who did designs. Sorry. Yeah. Fucking. Then I don't know if I think Watson Abe was credited, but it's just like a general producer guy. Um. But regardless, uh, Wandering Sun. I guess it's an isekai. I guess it's like. <laughs> It's, 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 it definitely is, but it's like, you wouldn't, I didn't really click on it until just now wait, that it is. Wait, wa Wandering Suns is a guy? I say that, I meant to say Sonny Boy. <laughs> yeah, like... I rather Sun in the name. <clears throat> um, Sonny Boy is, is an isekai, I guess. I literally just clicked to it. It's like... Well, most stories are isekai, because the classic hero's journey is to move, to go to another world, so... Well, yeah, but Sonny Boy is about a, a class of people uh, transporting to another world. The class gets transported to <laughs> Yeah. Completely different it's like world. as easy yeah. as it gets. Sonny Boy is like, it's, 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 a lot of people say it's, it's like a real, like, too artsy for you type of anime because it's, there's a lot of, like, dead space. And I think the fact that it doesn't have an, an opening kind of sets some people off where they're like, well, fuck, it thinks it's trying to be so cool. Um, but I don't know, it's, it's, it's about, it's about relationships more than it is, uh, about the world that it's in. Like, like any of these shows, it's, it's, all, all the shows I like are about character relationships and an interesting mm -hmm. setting that furthers mm -hmm. them. From what I gather, it kind of gives a Lord of the Flies type vibe. At the very start it is, but mm -hmm. it's very, very different as it goes on. Uh, it's like because because the basic premise is all the kids have superpowers, so like they they go to another world and 
originally, like Tyke said, it is like an island, so it's a Lord of the Flies thing. I feel like there's not a lot of communication here. I feel like you guys just let me talk too much. Yeah. I feel like, well, like, like that, it's, it's been the whole fucking like I haven't seen Sunny Ball. Well, I just like yeah, I don't know. It's it's just weird. I feel like I'm talking I, to I, no I, one. I'm just listening to Tent there. Um, I was like, hmm, no, it's I, I was just thinking. Uh, but it's so it's like they all have superpowers and they like it's but it's not you know because <laughs> a lesser mm-hmm. show like My Hero Academy uh, so, would, it's, so it's like My Hero Academia <laughs> <laughs> would, yeah, would, that show for my sneakers <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a callback but, <laughs> no the um, difference between Sign so Boy and like My Hate cool. MHA is that you watch MHA you're a pedophile no, you watch MHA oh, yeah. and and you know uh, you realize that it's actually peak, uh, and watch Sunny Boy and it's just too pretentious and artsy. You know, it's it's like yeah, uh, it's like it's like watching fucking uh, like Good Time versus a Marvel movie. You know, <laughs> it's like seeing Robert Pattinson in the Batman and being like, "Oh fuck yeah, dude, fuck!" And then watching Good Time, and being like, "Well, dude, what the fuck is this shit? This is dog shit." Yeah, <laughs> um, <It's> weird. <laughs> I, lo- I love when people say like a like a film is like weird if they didn't get it. It's like oh, it was just weird. <laughs> hey, some films are weird though. Yeah, Colin Drive's yeah, weird as fuck. Weird. I, I love it, but it is, <laughs> but it is weird. I say weird, and it's always a compliment. Yeah, like it, yeah, like it's really weird. Like, like fucking. Oh, but yeah, like, like like just but like I love. It's got me thinking about Mulholland Drive and that fucking that like, jump scare scene with the homeless guy. That that. I remember this is a bit of a tangent. I saw that scene we were watching the film in class, like a like a film shit. And then that jump scare come up, like it was like no audio, just the audio went dead silent, and like I fucking I legit just nearly fell out of my chair when I saw that. Mm. <laughs> I remember the way our film teacher pitched that movie was just like, so like, what the it was fuck like, happened? It was like it was like oh yeah, cause, what was it? It was fuck was he it was surrealist you know surrealist is surreal yeah, cinema right. yeah yeah and and it was like <laughs> it was like now you know just be warned this shit got got full-on lesbian sex in it and then everyone in the class <laughs> started hooting and hollering <laughs> that's like, awesome. like the like the jock part of the class it's just like whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's awesome <laughs> uh but yeah no um sony boy is 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 a really in like all the characters are really well written and stuff. Um, the the main sort of group are like really really pleasant characters. I guess I really like that it isn't so much like it it has themes. It a lot of shows set in high school with a boy and a girl in it and stuff really really harbor on the fact of it being like some sort of romance and shit. And there is I guess an element of it, but it's very like it's kept quite platonic, you know? Like, the main guy, he might have, he might have caught a little bit of feelings, but I don't think he really gives that much of a shit. Same with the, the girl. I forget all their names again, which is pretty funny, because I just watched the show. The only one I can remember is Raj Dhani, who was the fucking, he was sick. He was an Indian transfer student, and he made all these fucking cool machines and stuff. It's so swag. He was awesome. Uh, But, like, yeah, because so the show is, like, the the guy, like, because I guess the premise is, like, they don't age in the isekai, and yeah. so, like, they, the, the and one guy, the main guy's superpower is he just makes new worlds, and so, like, a bunch of kids at the start are, like, trying to get out of the, the world, but then, like, or, like, trying to, like, whatever, it, it's, a lot of it is, like, comes to, like, acceptance and, like, like being at peace with like your current state because the show takes place over like thousands of years technically oh, oh, oh jesus uh but you don't really it's, it's not really it's it's so but they don't age so it's like they're the same characters so it's like yeah. as things progress you see sort of everyone i guess you see people like accept their fate in the world which is really interesting Typically, in a setting like that, I feel like the natural ending would be, like, you get, the the f- you get the fuck out of there, and, like, that's the happy ending. But yeah. it's, like, in Wander... And, I keep saying Wandering Sun. In Sunny Boy, uh, <laughs> a lot of... They both have sun. I can't fucking... In Sunny Boy, it's it's a lot more, like, about... Like, they, they understand that 
yeah, they're not in the same world they once were, but they can still have value in this this world that they're in now. And I guess that's that's why I like it because like think think about fucking like Sword Art Online and shit where like you know yeah like, they get out of the game that's, that's and then a lot it of ends, Lock Horizon you know? yeah and like we're, we're we're gonna get out of here we're gonna beat the yeah Lock, Lock, Lock Horizon is fucking like yeah like Lock Horizon is really interesting because minus spoiler alert <laughs> when they die they just respawn yeah so they're permanently thing but the thing is right the big thing about death is that isn't revealed to the public is when you die you lose your memory of who you once were mm. uh, outside of the game so you've got all these people who are in this fantasy world who can't die and don't age and and the entire show is really about answering the big questions about you know why this happened what we can do about it and how do we create a society <coughs> around this yeah, you know, and that's why it's so interesting. Also, if were movies allowed, because if so, I would put. Well, yeah, I literally I would put, put a movie I, on there. I didn't know. I would put a. I forget its name. Fuck. Uh, it's it's Leaf something. It's leaf. Fuck. Hold on, let me look it up. It's really good. I I love it so much because of its style. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Sony Boy is really like. It, it's it's it also is really really pretty but all all those shows on my list i would say are really pretty like i like stylized shows <clears throat> but like dead leaves that's it sorry i found it oh yeah i i've yeah i i, I know dead love leaves. dead leaves yeah such a good movie um but like it it's just interesting like it more than because it, it's like i guess it is similar to that like log horizon thing but it's a lot more about I don't know. It's like it's less less about people sort of uh like it's less about people's general like status like they don't try and it's they form their own like separate things and some people like reject it and stuff and it's really interesting to see how things go like it's it's just it's cuz cuz it takes place over such a long time it's really interesting thing and I don't want to say too much cuz I don't want to spoil it um but like it's 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 really fucking good. It is a little bit like fucking whoa. It's so deep at times, but like I can stomach it because it looks really pretty. Deadly is yeah, like, 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 just saying that myself. Deadly's is just panty that one pa- the best panty and stocking episode. Yeah. <laughs> no, I use Dead Leaves as, an, as a thing in an art project I did once because I I had to cite two artists and I did a. Yeah, and then so cool. uh, Yoshiyuki Sadamo- Sa- Sadamoto and Hiroyuki Maishi. Hiroyuki is like the trigger guy, and the Sadamoto is the guy who designed all the Eva characters. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that's it. That's that's my list. I mean, the fully cool is there as well, but we we talked about it. So what? Like what else? Right. It's a good uh, fucking yeah. show. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's really real, real cute, and I like kids. I like shows about kids. I like shows. I like shows about about adolescence <laughs> and growing yeah, up and coming of age. Oh, adolescent, adolescent. Oh.